where they have taken your name to any shrine any temple any occult world any marine kingdom anywhere they have taken the name of your family i set it ablaze i send thunder i send fire i send destruction i command your name your family let them be released in jesus name your name to any shrine any temple any occult world any marine kingdom anywhere they have taken the name of your family i set it ablaze i send thunder i send fire i send destruction i command your name your family let them be released in jesus name your name to any shrine any temple any occult world any marine kingdom anywhere they have taken the name of your family i set it ablaze i send thunder i send fire i send destruction i command your name your family let them be released in jesus name name to any shrine any temple any occult world any marine kingdom anywhere they have taken the name of your family i set it ablaze i send thunder i send fire i send destruction i command your name your family let them be released in jesus name name to any shrine any temple any occult world any marine kingdom anywhere they have taken the name of your family i set it ablaze i send thunder i send fire i send destruction i command your name your family let them be released in jesus name your name to any shrine any temple any occult world any marine kingdom 
anywhere they have taken the name of your family i set it ablaze i send thunder i send fire i send destruction i command your name your family let them be released in jesus name your name to any shrine any temple any occult world any marine kingdom anywhere they have taken the name of your family i set it ablaze i send thunder i send fire i send destruction i command your name your family let them be released in jesus name Prayers, God, don't choose in answers, prayers. Amen. I know you answer my prayers. I know you answer my prayer. Oh. I know you answer my prayer. God, don't choose in answers, prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. I say I know you answer my prayer. Oh, I know you answer my prayer. I know you answer my prayer. God don't choose in answers prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. I know you answer my prayer. Oh, I know you answer my prayer. I know you answer my prayer. God don't choose in answers prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. I say I know you answer our prayers. I know you answer our prayers. I know you answer our prayers. God don't choose in answers prayers. Amen. I know you answer my prayers. I know you answer my prayer. God don't choose in answers prayers. I know you answer my prayer. Oh, I know you answer my prayers. I know you answer my prayers. God don't choose in answers prayers. Amen. You answer my prayer. I know you answer my prayer. God don't choose in answers prayer. I know you answer my prayer. Oh, I know you answer our prayer. Prayers. I know you answer our prayers. God don't choose in answers prayers. Amen. Hallelujah. God don't choose in answers prayers. I have confidence in the Lord who can never fail. I have confidence in this God who can never fail. What He said, He will do. He will surely do. I have confidence in the Lord who can never fail. He can never fail. He can never fail. Amen. Confidence in the Lord. Hallelujah. Your hands, your hands, your hands, your hands. Amen, amen. I have confidence in the Lord who can never fail us. I have confidence in this God who can never fail. What He said He will do, He will surely do. I have confidence in this God who can never fail. What about you? My brethren, He is God of chosen. He will do, he will surely do. I have confidence in the Lord. You can confidence in the Lord. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Brethren, I have confidence in this God who can never fail us. We have confidence in this God, God of chosen. What he say he will do, he will surely do. I have confidence in this God who can never fail. What about you? He will never fail. He is God that chosen. What he say he will do, he will surely do. I have confidence in the Lord who can never fail. Amen, amen. He will never fail. Daddy, you never fail. You will do, you will surely do. We have confidence in the Lord who can never fail. Amen, amen. He is God that chosen. He will never fail. What he say, he will do. He will surely do. We have confidence in the Lord who can never fail. Arise, arise, O Lord. Arise, Jesus Christ. Arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. Amen. Sing it to your heart. Arise, arise, O Lord. Arise, Jesus Christ. Arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. Amen. Arise, Jesus Christ. Arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. Arise, arise, O Daddy. Arise, Jesus Christ. Arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. Amen. We say, Arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. Arise and take over today. Arise, Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. Arise, arise, oh, daddy. Oh, arise, Jesus Christ. Arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, arise and take over. Arise, Jesus Christ. I will lift my banner higher. Satan has no power. I will lift my banner high. Satan has no power. I will lift my banner high. Satan has no power. Let us lift our banner high. Oh, Satan has no power. Amen. Oh yes, let us lift our banner higher. Satan has no power. Let us lift our banner higher. Oh, Satan has no power. Amen. Oh, let us lift our banner higher. Satan has no. Oh, let us lift our banner higher. Oh, Satan has no power. Let us lift our banner higher. Oh, Satan has no power. Amen. I will lift my banner higher. Satan has no power. He has no power. He has no power. He has no power over our lives. He has no power in our lives. He has no power. He has no power. He has no power. He has no power. He has no power in our lives. He has no power. He has no power. He has no power in your life. He has.
has no power, he has no power. He has no power in a miss. Your hands, your hands, your hands, your hands. I want to hear your hands. Come and deliver me. Jesus, come and deliver me. Oh, oh come and deliver me. Daddy, come and deliver Oh, come and deliver me. Come and deliver me. Oh. Daddy, come and deliver me. Daddy, come and deliver me. Oh. Daddy, come and deliver us. Daddy, come and deliver us. We have gathered before you. We have gathered before you. Daddy, come and deliver us. Daddy, come and deliver us. Oh, Lord, come and deliver me. Oh. Daddy, come and deliver me. Daddy, come and deliver me. Oh. Daddy, come and deliver me. Oh, Lord, come and deliver me. Oh. They got a choosing. I am that I am, wonder walking God, mighty deliverer, oh, ocean divider, the wonder walking God, come and deliver us, we have gathered before you, we are here before you, they got a choosing, they got the choosing, all power belongs to you, all power belongs to you, come and deliver, come and deliver me. Father, come and deliver me. Oh, come and deliver me. Oh, the God of choosing. Lord, come and deliver me. Father, come and deliver me. Jesus, come and deliver me. Father, come and deliver me. Oh, the God of choosing. Lord, come and deliver me. Oh, the God of power. Father, come and deliver me. Oh, come and deliver me. Lord, come and deliver me. Father, come and deliver me. Father, come and deliver me. Lord, come and deliver me. Father, come and deliver me. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. I want to welcome you specially to today's program. And I'm assuring you that God of choosing will surely deliver you. He will deliver you from every manipulation, every bondage, every sorrow, difficulty, any problem whatsoever you are passing through. I'm assuring you today, God of choosing will deliver you. If you are there, you have testimonies of what God of choosing has done in your life. In our previous meeting, Crusade, we'd like to hear the testimonies of what God or choosing has done for you. So I'd like you to rise on your feet, go to my left hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers, the opportunity will be given to you to testify of what God or choosing has done in your life. Remember the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemies. And the Bible says, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? For all the benefits you have received from the Almighty God, all you need to render to him in appreciation is to testify before the church what the Lord has done for you. So in any measure you've been visited, Maybe God of choosing has granted you salvation, the gift of eternal life. He delivered you from the power of sin. Broke the yoke of sin in your life. Then you ought to testify that he may be glorified. Or maybe God of choosing healed any sickness in your body or disease. Or rolled away any problem in your life. The only way you can appreciate him is to stand before his people and declare his deeds in your life so if you are there and you have testimonies we'd like to hear them today so go to my left hand side meet with the testimony interviewers and the opportunity will be given to you to testify we want to recognize specially as many who are worshiping with us for the very first time today Wherever you are in this auditorium and today is your first time having fellowship with us, we want to identify you, 
We want to welcome you specially. We've been praying for you to come. And now that God has given you the grace to come, we want to identify you. We want to bring our pastor's greetings to you. So wherever you are, today is your first time. Can you please rise up on your feet for proper recognition and welcome. Today is the very first time you are worshipping with us. Please be kind to rise up on your feet. We want to recognize you. We want to welcome you specially. All our guests and invitees worshipping with us today for the first time. Like you to rise on your feet. We want to welcome you specially. If you are not sitting directly opposite the altar and today is your first time, please I ask the ushers, protocol officers, identify those who are standing as newcomers and usher them to the seats we have reserved for our newcomers, our guests and invitees. On behalf of our general overseer, the founder of this ministry, and on behalf of the entire congregation, we welcome you all in Jesus' name. I want to assure you that this meeting shall be memorable in your life. Our Father in heaven, the God of choosing, will surely visit you. He has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. I'm assuring you today, he will touch your life. And all your expectations shall be granted unto you. I plead with the church to rise up on their feet. Let's welcome our guests and invitees with our welcome song that says, O ye people, the Lord's choosing. The glory of the Lord. Come and make Jesus King of Kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. Come and make Jesus Lord of all. Make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of Kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. One to go. O ye people, the Lord's choosing. The glory of the Lord. Come and make Jesus King of kings, make Jesus King of kings. Come and make Jesus Lord of all. Make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of kings. Make Jesus King of kings. Please be seated, please, please be seated. I beloved guests and invitees and all the worshippers should do have your seats. Once again, I want to welcome you and assure you that you are in for a great visitation today. The God of choosing is on ground to answer all your prayers. The God of choosing is on ground to work on you and make sure you go home richly blessed. Those of you joining us today for the first time, I'd like you to know that this is the Lord's choosing charismatic revival movement. And the Almighty God has given to us threefold vision to fulfill. I'd like you to listen attentively so that you know the visions that God has given to us, the mandate He has given to us to actualize. Vision number one. To bring grassroots revival all over the world. According to Mark chapter 16 verse 15. And he said unto them according to the Lord's command. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In Luke chapter 19 verse 10. The Bible says for the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost like you to know that the mind of god is that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth vision number two revival of the apostolic christian experiences among the body of christ experiences such as genuine salvation sanctification holy ghost baptism the gift of the Holy Spirit, evangelism prowess, apostolic zeal, righteousness, commitment, love, faith, unity, heavenly mindedness, care, 
and diverse manifestations of the Holy Ghost. All these apostolic Christian experiences shall become the bedrock of your Christian faith as you continue in fellowship with us in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Acts chapter 2 verse 17, And it shall come to pass in the last day, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. God has called us as a church and raised us up as an instrument in his hand to revive the body of Christ, to revive believers all over the world, to bring every one of them to perfection. According to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Vision number three, revival of heaven consciousness in the heart of every believer all over the world. In other words, heaven at last. In Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, the Bible says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In John chapter 14 verses 1 to 3, the Bible says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19, the Bible says, if in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. Therefore, no matter what you have come to the church to look for, maybe you have come to seek for healing, for deliverance, you have come to seek for financial blessings, all these things are very, very available in the house of God. But it is important for you to first of all seek for God, seek for his kingdom, seek for his righteousness, and after having them, every other thing you are looking for, they will come to you naturally. Before the emergence of this church, many believers were engrossed only in eating and drinking and pleasures of life. But now, to the glory of God, many have become conscious of heaven, manifesting the gift of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, and serving God in spirit and in truth. Our mandate we have received from the Almighty God, the God of choosing, a mandate to fulfill, to actualize. And the mandate is 10 billion souls. We are mandated by the Almighty God to bring 10 billion souls into his kingdom. And I want you to know that the mandate runs from generation to generation. And as you have joined us in fellowship today, automatically you are part of the mandate in Jesus' name. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. So the simple interpretation of the 10 billion souls mandate is that all men should be saved.
what I hear our days of fellowship in the week every Sunday is a time of worship and study of the Holy Scriptures to create awareness of the knowledge of God our Sunday service holds here every Sunday by 8 a.m. every Sunday and the venue is this auditorium where we are now there are some Sundays that are peculiar second Sunday of every month and last Sunday of every month we have what we call the combined service all our branches in Lagos State will gather here to worship in our headquarter every second Sunday and last Sunday but every Sunday we have fellowship here by 8 a.m. We also have what we call the Sunday House Care Fellowship. Sunday House Care Fellowship is a fellowship where brethren gather in their local homes to learn and adopt the love and the care of the early apostles. The House Care Fellowship starts by 6 p.m. and closes by 7 p.m except on the last Sunday of every month. And I want you to know that this church will recognize you as a full member and extend to you every benefit a full member will have if only you identify with a house care fellowship very close to your house. Every member of the Lord's choosing belongs to a house care fellowship. So join the house care fellowship system, then this church will recognize you as a full member if you want to know your house care fellowship, it will interest you to know that there is a house care fellowship of the Lord's choosing in your neighborhood. Better still, meet the person that invited you to the church to direct you to the house care fellowship very close to your house. I'm assuring you God of choosing will bless you for doing so. Every Tuesday, we have what we call the Tuesday Revival Hour. It is a miracle service. A time for the demonstration of God's power to roll away sicknesses and diseases and all problems of life and to bring about the needed revival to our souls. Our Tuesday Revival Hour is divided into two sections. The morning section starts by 8 a.m. while the evening section starts by 5 p.m. And the venue for our Tuesday Revival Hour is the auditorium called the first auditorium beside the car park you will find the first auditorium that is where we have a tuesday revival hour morning section 8 a.m and evening section 5 p.m on wednesday by 5 p.m we have an exclusive fellowship for our guests and invitees for the week it's called the newcomers class as many of you that are joining us today for the first time, we will implore you to make sure you attend the newcomers class on Wednesday by 5 p.m. You are expected to come with three special prayer requests as you come to that fellowship on Wednesday by 5 p.m. And in the course of the fellowship, our pastor will pray consigning those three prayer requests you would write and bring to that fellowship on Wednesday. And I'm assuring you, after his prayer, everything you would write on that paper shall be converted to testimonies in Jesus' name. So for those of you joining us today for the first time, don't forget, Wednesday by 5 p.m. at the first auditorium. That is where the fellowship holds, Wednesday 5 p.m. On Thursday, every Thursday of the week, we have what we call the counseling and deliverance service and that is the fellowship we are having right now it starts by 8 a.m and the venue is this auditorium where we are it's called the revival ground this is where we have our counseling and deliverance service every thursday by 8 a.m now on saturday by 9 a.m we have what we call bible study stroke workers meeting bible study stroke workers meeting 9 a.m in this auditorium is a fellowship designed to help those who are born again to grow in grace in knowledge 
to make us work strong in the spirit, to make us grow in the wisdom of God, is a fellowship that takes us deeper in the word of God, simplifying the word of God for our understanding. So Bible study workers meeting is open for all choosing members. Everybody is expected to be in the workers meeting through Bible study so that you will understand the word of God more, understand the word of God better, and become strong in the Lord and become wise in your relationship with God. So Saturday workers meeting through Bible study 9 a.m. in this auditorium. For our newcomers, our guests and invitees, I believe you must have received by now our newcomers card. Please give us the following information about yourself as requested of you from that card. Give us your name, the address of where you live, the nearest bus stop to your house, the date you attended the church, which is today's date, the nearest bus stop to your house, the days you are available at home, the time you are available at home, your phone number. If you have an email, you can also put it down. This information will enable our leaders, our workers, even our pastors to visit you, to continue with you in prayers. Maybe you need to be counseled, then that, or you have one or two questions you want to ask about the Christian faith or about the church. Then if you give us the right information about yourself, definitely someone from this church will visit you and give you answer that will comfort your soul. So I appeal to you, give us the accurate information about yourself. And God of choosing, we bless you for doing so. Are you just joining us in fellowship and you have testimonies of what God of choosing has done in your life? We'd like you to rise on your feet, go to my left hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify of what God of choosing has done for you. I'd like you to know this, those of you joining us today for the first time, this ministry is an evangelical ministry. From time to time we run and hold crusades, both in Lagos and outside Lagos. And I want you to take note of this. This Saturday and Sunday, this week, Saturday and Sunday, we'll be having a two-day power-packed crusade in Owere, Imo State. And the crusade is titled, God has power to do this or that. It's a great program. If you have your relatives in the East, you can put a call through to them, let them know about the program. The venue for the program is in Oweri, beside Arugo Park, along Onicha, Oweri Expressway. That's why we're having the program beside Arugo Park along on Ishawere Expressway. So the program will hold this Saturday and Sunday by 8 a.m. And if you want to join the program, the bus is still available. We have provision of our buses that will carry you to Owere and bring you back at a subsidized fare, a subsidized fare of 30,000 Naira. I'd like us to rise up on our feet now. Let's go to God in prayer. Please be on your feet. Let's rise up. Let's go to God in prayer. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Worthy, O Lord. And power All things are for thy pleasure They are and recreate Thou art worthy, Lord Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and 
to begin to glorify the living God glorify the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob the God of choosing worship Jehovah our creator the ancient of days the beginning and the end the almighty, the all powerful the merciful and compassionate God the God by whose mercy we are not consumed for his compassion fails not they are new every morning Give every glory to him. Give every honor to him. Worship the king of kings, the God of choosing that has the answer. The God of choosing that answer prayers. The God of choosing that changes situations. Worship him, the one mightier than all. Our father in heaven. The ancient of days, the compassionate God. The beginning and the end. The lion of the tribe of Judea. The God that answers prayers. The God that changes situations. Our Father, we thank you for keeping us alive. We thank you for your mercy upon our lives. We thank you for establishing the lost chosen. We thank you for your power in the church. Your power made manifest in our means. We thank you for the gift of salvation, the gift of eternal life. We thank you for the wonders you have done. Thank you for making us partakers of your heavenly calling. God, our children, we thank you for the life of our pastor. Thank you for your blessings upon his life. Thank you for making him a blessing to this generation. God, our children, we thank you for all the testimonies we have heard of your wonders in this generation. It will Lord, we bless you, we magnify your name. In Jesus' name mighty name we pray we are going to pray consigning the visions and the mandates that the almighty God has given to us we are going to ask that God the chosen will help us let him help us to bring grassroots revival all over the world let him help us to revive the apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ let him help us to revive heaven consciousness in the heart of believers all over the world. Let him help us, help the church to win 10 billion souls into his kingdom. Let him give us more grace, more strength, more wisdom, more resources, spiritual and physical and finance needed for the fulfilling of the visions and actualization of the mandates. Begin to pray now. Pray for the church as that God or chosen will help us. Ask him to walk with us, walk on us, walk for us. God or choosing the almighty God. Father, we are insufficient of ourselves to do anything of ourselves. You are the all-sufficient God. Our help comes from above, comes from, from you, the living God. Lord, we are asking, oh God, come and help us. Help the church, help us to bring grassroots revival all over the world. To revive the apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ. To revive heaven consciousness in the heart of believers all over the world. Father, help us to win 10 billion souls into your kingdom. We can do nothing without you. But with you we can do all things. O oh, righteous Jehovah, help us with all the resources needed for the fulfilling of the visions and actualization of the mandates. Raise us more workers, more members, more pastors. Father, that will walk with you for the visions and the mandates. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. 
Brethren, in fulfilling of the vision, our ministry will be at Oweri this weekend to bring grassroots revival in that state, to revive the apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ, to revive even consciousness in the heart of believers in that state and not the environment. We are going to present that crusade unto God. We are going to pray that God or choosing will go ahead of us. We are going to pray that he will go with us. We are going to pray that God or choosing will walk in that program. Let him glorify his name. Let his presence be mightily felt by every person that comes to that program. Let God or choosing help us to advertise the, the crusade. Advertise it spiritually, advertise it physically. Let him bring multitudes to that program. Begin to pray now. Pray diversely. Let God or choosing give us success. He has never failed us in any of our outreach. Immortal and invisible Father, the God of choosing our helper. Lord, you have bidded us to go into the world to preach the gospel to every creature. And you promise that you will be with us even to the uttermost part of the earth. O righteous Jehovah, Lord, we are praying concerning this program coming up on Saturday and Sunday. You know where the emo states. Lord, we are asking for your help. Go ahead of us. Go with us. Advertise the program. Gather the people unto yourself. For no man can come unto your son except you gather them unto him. Lord, we are asking, O oh God, add multitudes to the congregation on Saturday and Sunday. Lord, you are here that adds to the church as many that should be saved. Lord, we are asking, O oh God, give us a very conducive weather. Give us divine security in that program. Lord, we are praying, O oh God, give us victory, give us success. Make us have dominion in that state. Lord, intervene and help us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to pray for our pastor. Many shall be coming to that program on Saturday and Sunday to hear from him. Many want him to mention their case and they will receive healing. We are going to pray that God that has been using our pastor before now will use him again and again. We are going to pray that God or chosen will prepare him. We are going to pray that God, the Bible says that he will become a vessel made ready for the master's use. Prepared for every good work. Let's pray that God Almighty, the God of choosing that called him, should prepare him and make him ready for the master's use. Pray that God of choosing will increase the anointing, increase the wisdom, increase the boldness, the faith, and not trans. Pray that God of choosing will use him to bring liberation, salvation, healing, deliverance upon the lives of the multitude Saturday and Sunday. Shall we begin to pray for him? Immortal Jehovah, you are the strength of the anointed. You are the strength of our pastor. You are his glory. You are his rejoicing and his joy. God or choosing will commit him unto you this day. He depends only on you because you are dependable. Our Father, you have called him for this work. Lord, and you have not left him alone. Your presence is with him. Lord, we are asking, oh God, prepare him mightily. Sharpen him and make him a new sharp threshing instrument. Use him to thresh down the mountain. Father, use him to bring salvation upon souls. Father, use him to bring healing and deliverance upon the people. God, or choosing in him, shall you be glorified. Arise upon him and let your glory be seen in him. O righteous Jehovah, you are God that confirms his words and performs his counsel. Lord, as he ministers to your people Saturday and Sunday, confirm every word that proceeds out of his mouth. Lord, ensure his safety. Lord, protect him, preserve him from all evil. Increase the anointing, the power. Increase the wisdom, the utterance. Increase the faith. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray finally we are going to pray we are going to pray against all the enemies of progress all the enemies of righteousness all the enemies against salvation all the enemies of the church all the enemies that want to work against that crusade all the enemies that want to work against the ministry begin to pray against all the enemy actions pray against their conspiracy pray against all their secret deeds 
Pray against all their wickedness. Pray against all their mischiefs. Pray against all their wicked counsel. Pray against them in the spirit realm and in the physical. Their manifestation shall never hold. Let's subdue them, subdue their power. Let's prevail over them. Let's rule over them. We have dominion over them. God of choosing, thou has given us dominion over all. You have given us the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies. Lord, we stand on the authority of your word. We come against all the enemies of progress. We come against all the enemies of righteousness. We come against all the enemies of our visions and mandates. We come against all the enemies of our crusade. The enemies in the physical, we subdue them. The enemies in the spiritual, we subdue them. Lord, whatever be their secret counsel, let them be disappointed, let them be frustrated. Lord, we are asking that you step into their kingdom and make them desolate. O oh, righteous Jehovah, it is written that you shall walk and we shall hinder thee. Lord, we pray that all the powers and spirits that want to hinder the program, Lord, hinder them, hinder their oppression. Scatter them, scatter their power. Lord, prevail over them by your power. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, the God of choosing. We thank you because your presence is always in our midst. We thank you because you have not left us alone. Because you have helped us to do always those things that please you. Our Father, we are asking, oh God, in this meeting today, have your way, glorify your name in Jesus' name. Our Father, we present your servant, our pastor, unto you. Father, let your presence increase in his life. Let all your grace increase in his life. Let your grace continue to work for him. Let your grace continue to work with him. Let your angels continue to strengthen him. Continue to use him for the visions and mandates in Jesus' name. Father, we hand over the program ahead. Lord, you have never failed in any of our outreach. Lord, we are sure that what you have done before, you will do exceedingly much more. And let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please be seated. If you are there, you have testimonies of what God or choosing has done in your life. We'd like to hear your testimonies. Go quickly to my left hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify. Remember the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemies. So in any way God or choosing has visited you, redeemed you from poverty, redeemed you from the hand of afflictions and sicknesses or diseases or any problem of life. And today you are in freedom. You have received the miracle. Then you must glorify him who has done the work in your life by testifying. The Bible says, what shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits towards me? All you need to render to him is to testify. Let the church know what the Lord has done. And by that action, God will be glorified and make the testimony, the miracle to be permanent in your life and even add more into your life. So go to my left hand side, meet the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify. We have on stage preparing to minister to us in song the central choir. Let them minister now.
never go back with your problems. You have overcome for the great God of Joseph. I said, you know, by your battles, you will never see them anymore. Your bedroom starts to
us to meditate on the message that their song came with and pray about it. The message says you will never go back with your problem. They said in their song that you have overcome. That the great God of choosing has taken over your battle. You will never see them anymore. He said your breakthrough starts today. Joy and laughter forever will be yours. I'd like us to bow our heads and pray that God will bring it to pass. Let our breakthrough start today. Those of you joining us today for the first time, pray. Let joy and laughter be your portion forevermore. Let God of choosing take over all your battles. You have come to the great God, the great King, the one mightier than all, the God of miracles that changes situations, the one that walks in God. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for the message in song that we will never go away with our problems. The great God of choosing will take over all our battles and we shall see them no more. And joy and laughter shall be our portions forever. Our Father in heaven, having come unto you today, Lord, as your Son will minister your word to us and pray for us, Lord, make us to go home with joy and laughter. Make us to shout for joy. Make us to rejoice for coming into your presence. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I'd like you to clap unto God or choosing. Appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. He will do something good in your life. Thank you, Father. I want to assure you that today is a day of solution. Today is a day that God or choosing set two cases. Don't know where you have gone, who have treated the matter, but you have come to God or choosing, I'm assuring you, you will never be disappointed. For God or choosing will surely answer your prayers. It will make you go home happier than you came. It will give you solution to all your problems. So be rest assured that you are in the right place. We will hear your testimonies. Clap unto God or choosing. Thank you, Father. Once again, we are calling on those that have testimonies of what God or choosing has done for them. That they should rise on their feet, go to my left hand side, meet with the testimony interviewers. They will give you the opportunity to appreciate God who has done the miracle in your life. And will join you to celebrate your testimony by giving glory to God who has done it for you. So don't sit on the glory that is due to him who has performed the miracle in your life. When you testify, he is glorified. And when he is glorified, they will make the miracle permanent in your life. So don't be shy. Even if you have testified before, maybe in your local branch, then there is need for you to still testify in our headquarters. So go and to my left hand side, meet the testimony interviewers. The opportunity will be given to you to testify. Let's celebrate God who has performed the miracle in your life. We launch into the time we're listening to testimonies of what God or choosing has done in the lives of our brethren. I'd like us to receive the testimonies by clapping unto God or choosing. Appreciate him, clap unto him. Magnify him by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. For testifiers, tell us your name. Tell us the first time you came to choosing. And please go straight to the point. Tell us what God of choosing has done for you. The first testifier. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him, people, praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Bro Austin Oringa. I, I, I live at number 23 Additional Street, Idimu. My test, 
I thank God for making me a chosen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I am very sorry because I have delayed this testimony. I pray that Almighty Father will forgive me for having delayed testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Moderator, can I render a song to my to the God Almighty Father? Yes, but don't forget to tell us when you came to choose You can sing. I know run in a mamma. I know run in a warrior. I know run in a zebra. We are not a boris. Oh, Edema. 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 Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I visited Chosen Force in the 2004, 2014. 2004. 2004. 2004. And I become a Chosen in the year 2007. Okay. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. What makes me to become a Chosen? I was you know, in the other church. We were worshiping there. One day, the bishop came to visit our parish. So after his visitation, he sat down for question and answer. He said that if you have anything that is bothering you, you ask him and he will tell you. You answer the question. So many people were asking many questions. Until somebody asked, say, why is it that now women are wearing trousers in the church? While well, before it wasn't like that. So the way he answered the question, he answered them, he said, putting on trousers and short skirt, which one is better? That's how I answered the question. And after his question and he left, everybody there started, almost every woman started wearing trousers. When they came and they used that trousers, they go to receive communion. I wasn't happy again. I, I lose interest on in that church. At times I would stay for one month and never go to church until somebody invited my wife again for this ministry. And when my wife go, when my wife came back, he told me what he saw here. And we started to be coming here every Thursday. Every Thursday, we will be here. Every Thursday, we will be here. But what makes me to declare I mean, myself a, a choosing is that one testimony that I had there, I don't know whether any of you will remember it. Kati Kati Koti Koti testimony, who knows about it? <laughs> so after a testimony, I was somewhere there, and my wife was down there. So when we came out, we met ourselves. I, said, I told my wife, I said, today, right from now, we are a chosen. Mm. And that's how we continue to choose him up to now. Thank you, Father. Them out. Thank you, God of choosing. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony goes to us. I had an accident in, in the year 2012. And that accident, after it was, my leg was stitched, and after they lose the wire, instead of it subsiding, things started to grow in worse, from worse to worse, till two months time, I could not walk properly again. That day, one day, I was opportunity to meet Daddy there at the old First auditorium there, he asked me with the matter. I told him, and he laid his hand on my forehead and prayed for me instantly. Somebody who cannot walk instantly, I started the running from that point. Mm. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. You mean immediately he touched you and prayed for you? Yes. Immediately. 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 You started walking. I started walking. When I go to my yard, the people were surprised. They said, what type of testimony is this? Mm. So I thank God who did that testimony. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. My third testimony goes forth. I traveled home. When I came back, I was in my house sleeping about around 2 a.m. I had a, a strong, uh, something like hit me on my right side of the stomach. So I started vomiting around 2 a.m. the morning. I went to hospital. After the process, they told me that I should go to lab. I go to lab and came back. They said it was a kidney problem. Mm. I was buying drugs here and there. Both of these network drugs, I was buying them to no avail. Until one day, I came here on one particular combined service. I sowed a seed. And as my daddy 
Panthers the pulpit. Say that there is a particular young man here. You saw the particular seat for a particular event. I cancel it for you. But when he wanted to round up again, he still repeated the statement. My brethren, from that moment, after I left that day, the kidney stone, everything disappeared. Mm. Joseph, praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. So you mean the, the, the doctors, the, the test told you it was kidney stone. Yes. It was kidney stone. Yes. But after Pastor mentioned the case, it, everything disappeared. Everything. Gradually, gradually, I came back to life. Wow. Joseph, praise the Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. Let's clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So I thank this very God who has done all this for me. I think that these are these are that in the Lord. God raised him because of me. Mm. Because if it's not if it's not because of him, I would have died. Maybe I've forgotten the issue. Because that the, the all, all I passed through was very, very severe. But God see me through. I pray that God who has called him will strengthen him, will, uh, uh, will increase anointing in him from minute to minute. That God will give him a genetic body, iron body, the body that can never know weakness and sickness in Jesus' name. Amen. My brethren here, all over the world, choosing what's all over the world, I wish I wish them choose heaven at last. And my me and my family, heaven at last. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Ike Chukidemi and Eluka. Hold the mic well to your mouth and speak. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Ike Chukidemi and Eluka. And I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon my life. Can you please tell us your name again? Hold the mic stationary to your, don't allow it to drop. My name is Ikech Kudemi and Eluka, and I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon my life. Thank you, Father. I'm happy to be a choosing. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Please, sir, can I sing a song to you? You want to sing? Yes, sir. Please sing. Amaram no ne chim no so na maram no rare pukwam na maram no beti dorwa ne lo wakamara no ne chim di so ewo amaram no ne chim no so amaram no gare pukwam amaram boge Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When did you join choosing? I joined choosing last week Sunday. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Did I hear you very well? Did you say last week Sunday? Last week Sunday. Last week Sunday. Yes, sir. And you have a testimony. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. Now speak. My testimony goes like this. I stay at the uh, second rainbow at first stack, second day. I've been staying alone. I came from Potakot. I came to house here. Do you, do, I hope you don't mind if we help you hold the mic because you're not holding the mic well. Uh, I, just, uh, yeah. I said, I came to Lagos here last year, April. This year is making me one year. So I normally do an uh, online business. I said online business. I stay in one room. So at a certain point like that, based on I have not been going to church. So the business just collapsed and I started struggling. I couldn't even see money to even eat. I started struggling. So one of my aunties that is staying in that house, she now invited me to one church. So I was going to the church looking for work because my rent is about to expire. So I was going to church praying, looking for work to no event. Even the, the letter said that we would do dry fasting, three days and three nights. Uh, th th three days dry fasting, which I did. I even slept in the church doing the fasting. I nearly died uh, because it's my first time I was doing the fasting. No water, no nothing, nothing. After I finished doing the fasting, still I couldn't find a job. Anywhere I go to, 
if they should give me from, they will deny the work from me because I draw tattoo all over my body. I went to three companies for work and they rejected me because of my tattoo. So I was very angry. I decided not to go to any other church at all. Let me just stay on my own. So till one day, and I met one of my aunties. She's in this church. Her name is Sister Rosemary. So she now invited me to this church. I told her that I don't want to come to this church because I have went to so many churches. I have fasted. I have prayed genuinely with all my heart, but the spirit, and so nothing is working. So she insisted that I must come to this church, that something must happen. So I now said, let me give God the chance. And I came to the church on Sunday with her. So after the pastor prayed and everything, he prayed and he prophesied and I went back home. To my greatest surprise, the three companies that I went to seek for work that they rejected me because of my tattoo. On Monday morning... Hold on, hold on let's hear him. He has not landed. The three companies that I went to seek for work that rejected me because of my tattoo. I was surprised. After Sunday service, I came back. On Monday morning, the three companies were calling me at the same time. Hey! <laughs> the God that changes situation, the same God is my Father. The God that changes situation, the same God is my Father. Oh. The God that changes the situation, the same God is my Father. Oh. The God of choosing, oh 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 the God of choosing. Clap on to God of choosing, appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Wow. You mean the three companies that rejected you before you came to choosing? Because you had a tattoo. Yes, sir. After you came on Sunday uh, and after pastor's prayer. You say what happened on Monday? After pastor's prayer, on Monday morning, the same three companies that rejected me, we are calling me at the same time. Hey. <laughs> Let's appreciate God of choosing. Clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. What a mystery. Wow. So, you know, at the first time when I went to the company to look for a job, they accepted me. They gave me form. As I wanted to collect the form from them, then I saw the tattoo and they collected the form back from me. But after the Sunday service, on Monday, the three companies were calling me at the same time. I decided to go to each company one after the other. So on me reaching to the first odd company, they asked me if I'm EKHPD man I said yes. And you are from Olo? I said yes. Then I said okay, that I should start work immediately without no form, without no interview, without nothing, nothing. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I was like, I was surprised. I was, I, I said, sir, are, are you sure what you're saying? He said, yes, that I, should, I can start work immediately or any time I choose to. I greeted him. I said, okay. I left and I went to the second company. And the second company said the same thing again. That I might be my EKG look. I said, yes, yeah, I should start work immediately without no form, no interview, no nothing, nothing. Hey. Thank you, Father. Thank. Let's clap unto God or choose him. Let's appreciate the Lord by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Wow. And uh, I also went to the third company. And when I came in, the supervisor also me, asked me if I'm EKQ Demon Eluka. And I said yes. He said I should start work Im immediately. I was like surprised. I didn't even know the one I'm going to go again. I don't know. I'm just confused. So I, I just want to thank God who did all these things for me. May his name alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I also thank our Jew. I pray that God will continue to guide and protect him, give him the power and the wisdom to do all things. And I wish him heaven at last. And to all the choosing members all over the world, I wish you heaven at last. Choosing praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I want to I want to I want to ask you. You know, you went to churches and places where they pray and churches. You say you went to one, they fa you fasted for how many days? I went to one, I fasted for three days, I nearly so died. You nearly died. <laughs> and no solution. No solution, nothing, nothing. But you I just came last Sunday. Last week Sunday I came. Last and week today Sunday. God of Chosen has given you job. Yes, sir. Now what is your position now, having received this miracle from God of Chosen? I'm a choosing, sir. Uh -huh. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I like us to clap unto Him. Let's appreciate the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. You see, God has raised this ministry to wipe away the tears in the eyes of believers. So that nobody will ask you as a believer, where is your God? Remember, he went to church, he went to a place where they call church and fasted. He said he almost, he almost died. And after the three days fasting dry and the rest, nothing happened. But when he came to choosing just last Sunday, a place where God has raised to wipe away the tears of believers all over the world. Immediately he came on, on Sunday. He said three companies where he applied before, they didn't want to give him attention. They said he had a, he had a tattoo on him. But immediately after that Sunday encounter, on Monday, the three companies called him at the same time. And now God of Chosen has given him a job. I'm, I said that to say this. Having come here today, I'm assuring you, you will never be disappointed. He came just last Sunday and God of Chosen has settled his matter. And you are here today. That God that did it for him, he will do it for you. And he will make you to remain as a choosing. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Ndidu Zoma. Living at Itre, Karowi, Ochoba Street. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to testify to the glory of God on behalf of my daughter. She's uh, looking for admission for good three years, and the admission is not coming forth. But last year, the crusade title, it is over. We come with that body. And say, God of choosing, you have to settle us and break that yoke. And indeed, in that program, my daddy G.O. mentioned the case. And say, you that is looking for admission, go and collect your admission. And we claim it. And after that program, God of choosing, break that yoke. And the admission letter was issued to the glory of God. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. And also want to thank God for his provision. And I have uh, traveled to the Imo State, Imsu, where she has gotten the admission. And God of choosing do it in this time and also added her choice of course. I say may his name alone be glorified. Amen. And I thank God how the choosing uh, brethren over there receive her the chosen campus i said this god that is holding them there in insu imo state may he receive all the whole glory in jesus name amen Praise and i want to pray lord. for my daddy G.O., whom god is using in this ministry i say that this god that called him Praise he will never leave him in jesus name amen as he started well he will end well in jesus amen. name Amen. I pray for more anointing, Amen. more grace, more strength, more zeal in Jesus' name. Amen. For his family, I cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. No weapon form against them shall ever prosper. For all choosing worldwide, me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
clap unto God of choosing the God that answer prayers thank you father thank you God of choosing thank you Lord the next testifier Merci, Père. Chosen, praise the Lord. Le Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Dieu, Hallelujah. Amen. 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 My name is uh, Obodo Anthony Chinadu. I live at uh, number 10, Jibri Estate, Divine, es Divine K2, Janiki, local government. I joined choosing. First time I attended choosing was. Let's say uh, March, March towards ending, second week of March. This year? This year. Oh. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Father. I have attended so many churches. I'm a Catholic. But what caught my attention in choosing was their mode of dressing and the way and organized they are. The way, so the, way they are, the way they organize themselves, they are, uh, how do I put it? Very humble in nature. Nobody is uh, showing off. Mm. So that got my attention. But mm. I had this problem that I've been looking around, running around looking for a solution. The shop that my wife uh, rented for my wife, that shop, the rent was too big, so we decided to ask somebody to help us paying the rent. So, but this year, we had no money to pay for that rent. Only to notice that the person we put in the shop was now going behind the, our bags, looking for a way to take the whole shop by himself, pushing us to push us out. So we were like, my wife was on daily basis depreciating. And when she got in contact with a woman uh, choosing woman, the woman directed us at the Bayer station. There we joined the deliverance session. There, on the first day of the deliverance, that was a uh, match. We the man, the man of God, there delivered, prayed with us. Getting home, and the shop plan supposed to end uh, March ending. The caretaker was on my wife's neck. So my wife, we decided after the deliverance, we decided to meet one of our sisters. She said she had no money. Then we key in with deliverance. In the process of the deliverance, uh, the month end, that was on the Easter, or the, on the Good Friday, we decided, I decided to follow my wife to meet the man that owns the shop, to at least to tell him to give us space. So that morning, I told my wife that we should, uh, we're supposed to call that our sister to see if anything can come out. So we were like, to call her, she was the noun person calling us. Our sister, my sister now called us, told us, have we gotten anything to, for the shop plan? This is the end of the month. I said, sister, we have not gotten anything. She now told me to, to send my account number that she would pay uh, the money. <clears throat> so it was like a film. Let's appreciate God of choosing by clapping unto him. Thank you, Father. So, so it was like a film. Then uh, she said that she can only afford 200,000, whereas the shop rent was 300. So I said, that one is enough. I will look for means to get the other one. Then as we got to Balog Market, we were about to close the road. She now called again and said that we should forget that she will pay everything. Wow. So, thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. So I thank God so much. Then on last two weeks, uh, last two weeks, Thursday, I came here to give the testimony, but I don't know that uh, the program used to run, they used to dismiss some time. I came immediately after the program uh, dispersed. Then I went to the altar. I was there praying, telling God to favor me. So after the prayer, getting home, one of my under lives in a blood called me and told me that I should send my account number. Mm. So I sent I sent my account number. She favored me with a financial favor. So these things clap uh, unto God of choosing. Let's appreciate Him. 
Thank you, Father. It happened the same day you came and prayed at the altar. Yes, sir. The same day you came. Yes, sir. On the Thursday, we had dismissed when you came. Yes, sir. You That's still correct. entered and prayed. Yes, sir. And that same day, you asked God of choosing to favor you. Yes, sir. And your relative overseas called you. Yes, sir. And gave you financial favor. Yes, sir. God of choosing answer prayers. Thank you, Father. Let's appreciate so, him. Let's clap unto him. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I thank God to, uh, for now, by now, now I'm a choosing. Wow. So I want to sing to God the sound, the sound, the music that caught my attention on that place that we we were joy we, we we had the deliverance. So daddy, daddy, you are good. Mm. You have done so much for wow. me. Daddy, daddy, you are good. You have done so much for us. God of choosing, you are good. You have done so much for us. You have done so much for us. Daddy, receive all glory. Daddy, daddy, you are good. You have done so much for me. Daddy, daddy, you are good. You have done so much for us. God of choosing, you are good. You have done so much for us. You have done so much for me. Daddy, receive all glory. Choosing, praise the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. I, I like to, I like to. You said that you, you had the song at that, our branch. Was it what you said? Yes, sir. That was the song our branch people sang there. Yes, sir. What branch is that? Ipaye? Ipaye. All right. Mm. And there was something say, you said about the choosing which I love. You said there was something that caught your attention when you came to choose. You said you love the mood of our dressing. Yes, sir. And you love the way we are organized. Yes, how sir. How we do things. Yes, sir. Yes, it's good we hear it from you because some within can just be frowning at nothing. So you can see that our conduct is is winning a soul you know our pastor taught us a message we should be a burning and a shining light so you can see that our, our lifestyle now persuaded him convinced him that this is the right place that these are children of god so we want to appreciate you for giving us that uh, feedback we appreciate you may god bless you Amen. may god continue to bless you let's appreciate the lord by clapping unto him Remember when he shared the problem with somebody, the person did not tell him it is the economy of the country. The person told him, follow me to the choosing. And immediately him and his wife followed. You can see now God of choosing has given them solution to the burden and problem in their life. There are people around you that tell you their problem. The sympathy you can give to them is to tell them, come to choosing, in choosing there is solution. Remember a brother that shared testimony, he said he came to, he has been going to churches, he fasted and almost died. But when he met somebody and told the person the problem, the person said, follow me to choosing. And he followed. Just on Sunday, Monday, employment came and now he is working. So the lesson we are learning there is this. Anybody that tells you any problem in this life, tell the person, follow me to follow me to choosing, you will have solution. A brother just started coming in March, he has solution. A brother started coming just last Sunday, he has solution. So let us invite people to come. God of choosing answers prayers. Clap unto him. Clap unto him. Appreciate him. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose in praise, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, can I sing? Please sing, ma'am. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. 
to God or choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My name is Sister Amaka Mori Nweze. I came all the way from Aba. Since February, I've started program here, Turn My Sorrow to Joy. My sister is the one that invited me here. It's a chosen by the grace of God. She works here. She works as a Nepa here. She invited me to come. I, I am throughout last year, after my senior brother's burial, we went to a village. After the burial, I was afraid. They, uh, they did me abba, abba, abba on my body. So throughout last year, I was down sick. So my sister now called me. I said, can you come to Lagos for a program? I said, which program? He said, program for um, here, in Jeshaya, as a choosing. I said, you know, I, I have already attended church. Or he said, it's not a matter of church. You come here, come down here. Can you be able to sit in the moto to come to, to choosing here? I said, I can't. But after Christmas or after New Year, I will come. So since then, I come here. Every time I was at the back here, my daddy would be preaching and saying, or everything. I was hearing, I was contemplating, I was asking God for forgiveness. If I offend anybody. Uh, uh, when I, I went to church, they told me the, 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 the sickness is from where I'm doing my business. I said, okay, there's no problem. As the sickness follow me, everything follow me entire year, I know everything will be over. So when we went for um, um, deliverance session, they now direct me to water baptismal class. I started from scratch. So it's on Good, um, good Friday.
the Lord. Clap unto God of choosing. Thank you, Father. When did Pastor give that word of knowledge? Which fellowship are you talking about? It's one Thursday like this, Faithful Thursday. Mm. So he said, Go, I said, Go and pick your visa. I obeyed the voice of my daddy because his voice never failed. Mm. I went. I never asked any of them through the gates. I entered and I was given a multiple visa. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. And I have gone, gone and come back to the glory of God. Mm. And God, the safety is of God. Mm. And God gave me all the staying I went to Netherlands in UK. And I'm back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Madretta, I want to sing. Let's sing. Imerem di ma, Imerem di nyerem di mu ma. Jiwa nyerem di ma. Chachi nyerem di ma. Umwi nyerem di ma. Imerem di ma. Imerem di ma. I want to give my second testimony and that is about I have a three children and along the line something happened but I called the God of choosing to marry me and help me to train these children out of the three children two has master double and one BS praise the Lord thank you God of choosing thank you father the one, the, the only girl I had that is living in Northern Ireland, he has a double masters, one in Unilag and one in Netherland. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And they are all doing well. Mm. I want to advise a co women like me. If you can base here and use this God as your God, there's nothing impossible with God. Wherever they are, or your kids, or any problem, they will all go in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for my daddy. I have nothing to give him than to pray and say, God, who has made him and called him, we make him to be more than any other people that is calling him because he's a special man. He will lead him beyond human destruction. Maintenance from above and his family in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to still use the opportunity to praise a friend, a, a friend indeed. They are not here. Pastor Wuba and the wife, who has been my friend, that God, wherever they are, that the God will uphold them to the end. And whatever be their heart desire, that the God will give them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for every woman, every choosing, all the pastors, moderators, that God. We make all of us to meet at heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap unto God of choosing. Appreciate him. Clap unto him. Thank you, Father. I want to assure you that today he will visit you. As long as you have come to him today, you will never go the same way you came. So be rest assured that today he will settle your case. He will convert all your problems to testimonies. Now bow your head, close your eyes. Bow your head, close your eyes. And begin to thank him for all the testimonies. Begin to give glory to him. Honor him who has done these great things we have had. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Our Father, we bless your name. We praise your mercy. We praise your goodness. We praise your Lord. We thank you for the privilege of the fellowship with the Father, with the Son, with the Holy Spirit. Lord, we bless your name because 
no one that comes to you and remain the same. That I ask you listen to your word. I pray that you speak to the heart of each and every one. All I'm asking you, righteous Father, every plant you have not planted in our lives, Father, by the power of the Holy Spirit, approve the evil plant in Jesus' name. I ask for the grace to teach your word. I ask for the grace for each and everyone to hear, understand, and apply your word in their lives in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask the Holy Ghost to take over every contrary spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind you, I bind your power, and I cast you to abyss in Jesus' name. Lord, have your way in Jesus' powerful name we pray. Turn your Bible to John chapter 8. John chapter 8. I read from verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. In Philippians chapter 3, Philippians chapter 3 reading from verse 17 brethren be for last together of me and mark them which walk so as you have us for an example for many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord. Jesus Christ and so living the Christian life according to your own way I want you to pay attention many who claimed to be Christians in the present day because they go to a church because they belong to one church or the other they have created a lot of doubt in the heart of those who are observing them and that is unlike the disciples of old because the disciples of old was able to discern that they were Christ like and they called them Christians as we have seen in Acts chapter 11 26 such people live their Christian lives according to these people we are talking about that have brought disappointment to people, to others. They live the Christian life according to their own standards, not Christ-like, not Christian way. They live the Christian life according to their own way, that is, the way they like or the way they choose talking about many in the present day who are called Christians. They live the Christian life the way they choose and not according to Christ like, nor according to the word of God. They rather follow the way of the flesh or the way of unbelievers. They never follow the spiritual way. They never follow the way of the will of God, the word of God. Do not even serve God with faith and faithfully apply the things that is being taught. They live the Christian life according to their own standard, their own way, the way they choose, the way they like. That's exactly what we are having in the present day. People are avoiding the cross. 
People are avoiding the will of God, the painful aspect of the Christian life. People are avoiding living the life that pleases God so that their, their self will be kept, their life will be kept, and they will enjoy the flesh so that they will do things that will never affect their, their life, their body, or their, anything that will never affect their marriage or the way they live their life. So they want to live their life to please the flesh. They don't want to go through any pain. They don't want to be subject to the word of God. And this is what is obtainable in many places today. And that we call living the Christian life in your own way. Not according to the will of God. So, if you are among the, those Christians living in the way of the flesh, who never allow the will of God, who does things the way you want, contrary to the will of God. If you are among them that is going after the world, or establishing your own standards, what you feel, what you think, that is the best way to live the Christian life. If you are among such people, God is not happy with you. If you are the one that living the Christian life, the way you choose, whatever you want to do, you are not subject to instruction, to teaching, you are not subject to the word of God, whatever you want to do, you do it. Or you get to some things according to his will. Why some things you are doing it contrary to his will? That is not the standard of Christ and our God and the disciples of old. And so, if you are like that, God is not happy with you. Mark it and make sure that this will sink deep into your heart. And if you are doing something like this and you are saying you're a believer, you are born again, you are choosing, you are going to heaven, you are spiritual, my friend, you are a liar. What you are doing, even if you are a worker, a leader, a pastor, or anything in the church, the sign of what you are doing is a sign of unconverted Christian. What you are showing to those who are observing you is that you are a believing unbeliever. What you are trying to show to those observing you is that you are convicted about Christ, but you are not converted. You are not subject to the, to the will of God, to the totality of the will of God. And so, it's a sign of you are convinced, but you are not converted. And if that is the case, the Lord is not happy with you. And the right thing or part for you, this there, which the Lord is pointing to you because there is no more time and rapture is about to take place. The coming of Jesus is any moment from now. Any moment from now, the trumpet shall sound. And because of the great love that God has for you as a chosen, is trying to put you in order if you can be corrected like Peter and you repent so that you can go on rapture. So because of that love, the Lord is bringing this message so that you will not perish. So if you follow the right path to live your life according to the will of God, not according to your will. You to so live your life the way that Christ introduced it through the scriptures. The way that Christ taught us, the way of the word of God. Jesus made us understand that. Are you hearing me? Let us not take example from the lifestyle of people that are that are perishing, who might earthly things, who glory in their chair. Let us begin to look up to heaven where Christ seated and know what is obtainable, holiness, which without no eyes shall see the Lord. So for those who are not yet born again and backslide us and compromise us, they should repent of their sins and confess them to the Lord. They should surrender their life to Jesus Christ 
accept him as the Lord and personal Savior. Don't forget the Bible, let us understand. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is dead. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And if somebody is saying that you have sinned, my friend, God loves you. He wants you to be saved. That's why Jesus came. And if you will continue in sin and continue to justify yourself, the Bible said in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that they might destroy the works of the devil. Please look at that place for those who look at it for First John chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, He that committed sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that they might destroy the works of the devil. Verse 9, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for he still remains to him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. So, if you look at verse 8, he said, a sinner is not a Christian. Verse 9, a Christian is not a sinner. And if you're asking what is sin, look at First John chapter 5, verse 17, eh, all unrighteousness is sin. Anything that is not righteousness is what? Sin. So, unbelief is sin. Unforgiveness is sin. Selfishness is sin. Talkativeness is sin. Envy is sin. Contention, strife, bitterness, keeping malice, bearing grudge, lusting after everything, covetousness, love of money, pride of life. All these are terrible sins. Disobedient. All these are sin before God. I want to let you know hatred and blasphemy and speaking evil of others backbiting murmuring cursing people swearing with heaven and earth worshiping idol making idol all these things are terrible sin you need to search your life repent and renounce them and promise God no more I don't know the wickedness you are into. All unrighteousness is sin. Those involved into going to native doctors to make sham or for divination or patronizing the native doctors or you're a native doctor or you belong to my, you know, all these people that are marine agents. Repent and gather their property. Burn them. Or you belong to secret court or open court or marine court or witchcraft court, any kind of court local court, international court, campus court confess them, renounce them and give your life to Jesus Christ and if you are among those people that are into stealing, picking pockets breaking home of people, stealing from their master, from their parents from their wife or husband those people that are stealing that is sin or those into, I you know my practices in the exam cheating the exam, you must repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. Those involved into armed robbery, any kind of robbery, one, one chance, motorcycle robbery, all these are terrible sin. Repent and promise God no more. Or maybe you are into fraud, you do black people, white people, government, you a dupe. Confess them and say, Lord, I am sorry, no more. I mean you are weak. Tomorrow may be too late. And if you are stolen from people, you are robbed, you are defrauded people, and you bring the money here for offering, we don't need that offering at all, at all. We don't need that money you are stolen from people. And mend your ways. The Lord will show you mercy. Such your life. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of and if you are there listening to me, my sisters and brothers, if you are among those people that are, you know, that are into masturbation, fornication, adultery, homosexual, lesbianism, prostitution, or abortion, you must confess this evil and promise God no more. If you patronize the prostitute, you must repent. 
if you ate the abortion, you must repent. That means you sold so the drug or you get the counseling that lead to that. You must repent and ask God for mercy. I don't know the evil you are into. Now is the acceptable time. Tomorrow may be too late. Search your life. All these people that you are into fighting and quarreling, beating your wife or fighting your husband or disobedient to the parents or to your husband, repent. That is sin. And promise God no more. Those that are working for people but they don't do the work and collect salary, that is sin. Or you don't pay those working for you, that is sin. And those into murder, killing, whether ritual killing, whether you are into higher than assassin, or you are a terrorist, you must repent and promise God no more. And don't bring the money you are made from such places to this church. And mend your ways. You that is involved in to giving bribe and taking bribe, extorting money from people because of a uniform, because of a position. That is sin. Or if you are into taking alcoholic drinks, one percent or half percent, by selling it or buying it, you must repent today and promise God no more. Or you are walking in blue, resign. And if you are into smuggling, please repent and turn away from such business and mend your ways. And as many of you involved into, you know, taking cigarettes, Indian hemp, cocaine, heroin, you are selling it and buying it for people, you are taking snuff, repent and confess the evil and promise God no more. Ask for the mercy of God. The Lord will forgive you and heal you in Jesus' name. Search your life. All unrighteousness is sin. Anything that is not righteousness is a terrible sin. Those who marry and divorce, that's sin. Those who into polygamous marriage, that's sin. And if you have made a mistake and divorce your wife, bring her back. Or you left your first husband, return back to, to him. Uh, your second wife or third wife, pack your load and go. You have no husband. Or um, your man that married them three, remove the second and third one, return your first one. Marriage, as we have seen in Matthew uh, chapter 19, verse 4 to 6, is between a man and a woman. And on three days, do your part. So amend before it is too late. All these people that paint their hands and paint their leg and paint their mouth and paint their eye, these people that paint their body, that is sin. Bleach their body and they put extra finger, extra eye, attachment, weave on, palming, earring, jewelry, bango, makeup. What are you making up for? Put those things away. I mean, they are wet. some dress to expose their chest, their ampy, their tummy, their waist, expose their nakedness, their laps. Cover your nakedness. That is sin. For you to expose your nakedness to seduce people. I mean, you are wet. I don't know the evil. If a young man doing Jericho, rough hair, scattered hair, you play the hair like a woman. That's sin. The Bible said in the book of Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 13, when they are spoiled, what shall they do? Do they go after paint, after ornament? When they are spoiled, they begin to make up. And uh, if you are like that, my friends, if you remain in that condition and die, you can't see heaven for all unrighteousness is sin. And all these women that uh, wore what trousers like to dress like a man. And all these men that want to dress like women. That's abomination. Skirt and blouse. I see a man putting those things on. That man is somewhere initiated. So such your life. The Bible said all that do such thing, they are abomination before God. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. 22 verse 5. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5, please see. The woman shall not wear that which pertaining to a man. Now that a man put on woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination of the Lord thy God. That means those that are wearing such things, they are what? Abomination to God. And abominable people can never enter heaven. Revelation 21 verse 8. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. Look at your Bible. But they fearful and unbelieving and abominable and the murderers and whoremongers 
and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burn with fire and brings stone, which is the second death. People like that, they shall be cast where? Hey, fire. I pray it shall never be your portion. Such your life. The Bible said in Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13, He that covereth his sin shall not do what? Prosper. But whosoever that confess them and forsake them shall have mercy. That's why we're mentioning these things item by item. So that some of us say, I don't know what they saying. We mention them one by one. And you know that most of these things we are mentioning, there are spirits that are behind them. Am I right? Please answer me. Are there spirits that are behind painting and makeup and the adultery and fornication? Are there spirits that are behind them? Yes. We are into what is called what? World War. Are you hearing me? This is not World War. This one is what? World War. Choosing is into what? World War. This thing that I, we, are, we, are, we are dealing on is what? World War. The whole world, we are contesting with them because they have gone into what? They have gone astray. They have turned their back to God. And for you to deliver the world, you must liberate them from these things. You know what I'm saying now? Many countries of the world have been swallowed up by what we are saying. But I want to let you know there is a world war. By the word of the Lord, the whole world shall be delivered. If you believe, he say amen. amen. So as we mention these things, and people that are involved into it are there, of course, you can know what their heart, how their heart will be going. How many churches that mention it? How many people? We're into what? Not the world, world the world. This is what? World the world. That's what Joseph is fighting. The thing that makes the world what they are is what Joseph is doing what? For you shall know the truth. What happened? He see you today. You will never live here the same. The truth shall make you free in Jesus' name. The Bible says, He that covereth is sin. And if we don't mention this thing, how do you know what is sin? I don't know. Are you playing the point I'm making? You know, you everybody, some people are making profit with attachment. So I'm making profit with uh, uh, earring. So I'm making profit with painting. So I'm making profit with uh, um, abortion, adultery. So I'm making profit with uh, occultism. And all these things. We need to explain people that this thing is evil. And that is a world war. I say choosing is into what fight? I didn't hear you again. World war. You agree with me? Uh -huh. You need to know these things. If you don't know them, you can't be free. And if I'm trying to make you to know, make the whole world to know about it. World what? War. We are fighting what? If you don't mention this thing, people will continue to do it. They will not know. But if you mention it, there are people that are into it, they will be to make noise. Before I know it, they will be fighting back. That's what is called what? World war. Praise the Lord. He see you as you repent to that and amend your ways, the truth shall set you free. And you shall be a heavenly candidate and you shall live the Christian life according to the will of God, not your own standards. Tell them, when you go now, tell people, Christian life is not according to your own way. It is according to the will of God. So, remember, God loves you so much. Choosing people. Are you a choosing? God loves you too much. Choosing people. Choosing people. Are you sure you are following? I say God loves you too much. And the Bible said to the person that the father loved, he chastened it. It corrects you because he loves you. He wants to live with you forever. Do you know that God loves you? This truth you are hearing is a scarce commodity in many places. Because so many people want to get congregation. And then let the church, let the people be lost. But here, we want the souls to be saved. And we are not economical in the truth. About the truth at all, at all. We must preach the totality of the truth. And you shall know it. And as you do it, 
you shall be free, you shall be blessed, you shall be saved in Jesus' name. Now, in Exodus chapter 12, verse 13, as a matter of God's love, he said, When I see the blood, I will pass over you. And he's talking about the blood of animal. And but he's using the blood of animal to show the symbolic figure of the blood of Jesus, which is to come. And what is the import? What is the rule of that blood? My friend, in the old time, when God wants to take his people out of Egypt, he said, Let them kill the lambs and sprinkle the blood. When I see that Passover. But God has something in mind. Now, what God was trying to picture the blood of everlasting covenant. That through the blood, the world, as many who will call, as many who will come to the Lord and surrender their life to Him, that this blood will wash their sins away. So that there'll be an end to that sin. That's why He said, For the Son of Man was manifested that He might destroy the works of the devil. Now, look at the actual blood in John chapter 1 and verse 29. Please look at it. Well, it, because we see the Exodus is talking about lamb animal but it's not animal like god is actually picturing if you look at john chapter 1 verse 29 he says verse 29 and i read verse 29 the next day john said jesus coming unto him and said behold the lamp of god which taketh away the sin of the world who is that lamp thank you very much jesus is the real lamp not animal jesus the lamp of god and the Bible says this in John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in it shall not perish but have everlasting life. And in John chapter 19 verse 30 when Jesus shared the blood he said it is finished. The end of all, of all sacrifices for sin. And in John chapter 14 verse 6 Jesus said I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Which means, Jesus is the only way, the only access to God. There is no two way, there is no other option. That's why he said, I am the way. And in John chapter 10 verse 10b, Jesus said, I come that might have life, have it more abundantly. And in John chapter 8, chapter 8 and verse 36, Jesus said, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And in Matthew chapter 11, 28, Jesus said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you your rest. And if you look at John chapter 1, verse 12, but as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. As many as receive who? What power did they receive? Power or sonship. As you receive Jesus into your heart today, Honestly, there shall be transformation. Your life will change. You shall become a new creature in Jesus' name. All of you that are here today, you will never go back to hell. And make up your mind, I will not live the Christian life according to my way. For our master said, Lo, I come in the volume of book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. And if Jesus came to do the will of God according to the Bible, my friend, let us do the will of God according to the same Bible. Not according to our sense, not according to our own way, not in a convenient situation. Please, let us serve him. Whether convenient or inconvenient, it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. No matter the situation, no matter the condition, serve him. Are you hearing me? Take up your cross and do what? Follow him. It shall be well for you. Your life shall be transformed. You shall be a blessing to our society and to the whole world in Jesus' name. In the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 13, the Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. What that meant is somebody who can call for salvation. Who can call in repentance and say, I'm sorry, oh, I will not do evil again. I'm sorry, oh Lord, save me. I surrender to you. Please save me and no more sin. I confess all my wickedness. I will do them no more. Lord, show me mercy. Save me. Salvation will follow you now. Are you ready to give your life to Jesus? Or you bow down your head. Confess your sins. Don't stand up. Bow down your head. Confess your sins 
and ask for the mercy of God. If the Lord says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Open your mouth and pray. Ask for mercy. Uh, first of all, ask for, for walking on your own way, believers. For doing things the way you like, say, I am sorry. I, please show me mercy. Please forgive me. Lord, show me mercy. Everybody. Anybody that wants to go to heaven and you are here for the first time and you, or maybe you are coming, you are not born again, ask for mercy. Confess the sins. Promise God no more. Everybody pray. Pray with all your heart, O oh Lord, I am very sorry. Show me mercy for living the Christian life according to my own way. Everybody. I'm sorry for any form of anger or hatred or lie or pride or selfishness or disobedience or stubbornness. Father, please forgive me. Any form of compromise, unrighteous thought or words or action, Lord, I'm sorry. Every unrighteousness, wickedness, masturbation, adultery, fornication, Lord, any kind of wickedness, I'm sorry, forgive me. That should be our prayer. If you are into these things, such your life. Amend your ways. Let's really pray. Why not cry to heaven? Let heaven hear your prayer. Let God of heaven hear your prayer. Why not say, I'm sorry? I've done evil. I will do it no more. Lord, we surrender afresh our spirit, our soul, our body to you. Lord, we pray, cancel. Everyone whose name has been raised in the book of death, cancel it and write the book of life in Jesus' name. Yeah. That the church might go on rapture. That every born, every leader, every pastor, every member might go on rapture. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. All I'm asking you this day, Father, in your rod, remember mercy. Because mercy rejoices over judgment. Whatever judgment determines against the chosen, against us. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the judgment be canceled. And every yoke of power that makes us to sin, to go into compromise, to live the Christian life according to our own way. Father, let that yoke break today in Jesus' name. I mean to ask and claim every chosen member, everyone here present for the first time, all that are watching us all over the world, all the pastors and workers and members, I claim them for Jesus. I claim them for Jesus. I rededicate everyone to Jesus. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus. Watch and cleanse everyone. Make us worthy in Jesus' name. Make everyone rapturable saints. Lord, I pray that no choosing member shall miss the rapture. No choosing member shall go to hell fire. Lord, I pray and decree that hell fire is not for the choosing ones in Jesus' name. I pray for grace for righteousness. Grace to please the Lord. Grace to do the will of God. Grace to fear the Lord. Grace to depart from all evil. Let that grace come upon us in Jesus' name. Grace for purity. Grace for holiness. Grace for righteousness. A grace of perfection. Let it come in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Stay be in the mood of prayer. Stay bow your head. Stay continue praying. Now you have to pray for our pastor. Pray for him that God of chosen will renew his strength. He'll be ministering to us life. So pray for him. Bow your head, close your eyes. Ask that God will renew his strength.
that God or chosen will continue to fight for him all his battles, give him victory. Pray that God continue to fill him with fresh oil, fresh anointing, fresh wisdom. Pray that God's safety will continue to be upon him wherever he goes. The hand of God will continue to preserve him. shall be granted beyond the expectation or the desires and everything that your father has for you he will give it to you place your hand upon your chest I want to pray for you you came in here very, very sick. And that problem you have been wondering, can you ever be healed here? But now, as I'm standing here, be healed. Before you leave here today, you will be jumping up a prison day. The person with terrible waist pain, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it. Be healed in Jesus' name. A person that having dreams upon dream, dream, terrible dreams, wherever you are, the spirit of death we leave your body now. Yeah. Wherever that person may be, I command that spirit that have troubled you, that taking life for your family, let that spirit be arrested, be bound, yeah. and be cast out at the abyss in Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, receive your deliverance. Lord, show me as I begin to deliver that person. I'm waiting for you. Begin, begin with that person. Begin with this, that individual. That deliverance is now. You will not die a day before your death. Yeah. Holy Ghost, deliver that person. Bring that person out. I'm waiting for you. I see somebody. I see somebody. Great deliverance is going on. You are all just watch out there. I pray the yoke of untimely death. Loose. Loose. I'm still waiting for somebody. There is somebody I'm waiting for. Once you are delivered, we move on to another person, another point. That person, you like the man that testified that he gave him a date. For you, you have appointment, but that appointment will then be terminated. Yeah. Mr. 
Kaliski Teni Kaprena, Jelovi Kahuli, Holy Ghost, wherever that submitted the name of this person, and I mentioned the name in the midnight, today I lose you. Yes, watch as watch out the person I'm talking about is being delivered, bring that person out by fire, by power, bring that person out. To lay, I terminate untimely death for you. The person that is on a fast track to destruction, fast track to destruction, the devil has planned to destroy you and therefore place you on a fast track and you are heading with great speed. I terminate that evil. In the name of Jesus, receive your deliverance. Amen. Just keep quiet, keep quiet. I'm waiting for thorough operation. Thorough, thorough. Watch us, watch out. Thorough. No matter what they projected in somebody's life, that make you to lose favor. Good things, good things does not come near you. Today, I command whatever they have done upon your life, upon your family, be revoked. As soon as I finish this prayer, you will receive a sign through your phone. <laughs> to further proof to you, I'm talking about you. Favor and follow you and your phone. Right in this church. You will receive a financial miracle award <laughs> to show you that favor has visited you. <laughs> Lord, wherever the person I'm talking about may be, touch that person. At the end, before I round up, you will receive a lot in this church. Yeah. I didn't say we go out. I said before I round to show that the yoke is broken in your life. Yeah. Our extension in your family. All of you, I cancel cause. Spirit of cause. Spirit of lack of favor. I bind you, I cast with abyss in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Spirit of cause. Lord, I'm waiting for somebody. Do you know that today, today, that cause will be broken in your whole family? <laughs> Beginning from you, I command the cause to break. Lord, <laughs> show me a sign. Spirit of cause. Spirit of cause. 
I command you, pack your load. Oh yeah, don't enter anybody. I cover everybody here with the blood of Jesus. And I command you, spirit of cause. Oh yeah, come out from that young man quickly. Enter fire. Enter, but don't let speed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come out, come out, come out. Spirit of cause, come out. Enter fire. Enter fire. As that spirit is leaving that young man, I want you to leave the family too, all the members of family, wherever they may be. Spirit of generational cause, come out, enter fire in Jesus' name. That yoke is broken. And that lady, because of disappointment, you gave to somebody marriage, it cost you. And your marriage, no child, no joy, no peace. Today, I pray that yoke. I command that cause, come out in Jesus' name. That woman, that lady, Holy Ghost, touch her. Prove to her, I'm talking about her. Whatever she may be in this congregation. You, somebody say you disappointed him. And they went and placed costs on you. Says that you are suffering, no child. No joy in your marriage, no peace. I pray the yoke in Jesus' name. Loose. Spirit of cause. Uh, leave that lady quickly. Quickly, quickly. Lord, show her a sign. Yes, great deliverance. Great deliverance by power. By the Spirit of the Most High God. I obtain deliverance for you. Spirit of course. Come out and enter fire in Jesus' name. And I pray for you. Spirit of affliction. Spirit of sicknesses and diseases. In the name of Jesus, I bind you. I cast it out in Jesus' name. Spirit of poverty. Spirit husband. Spirit husband. Oh, yeah. Cash fire come out in Jesus' name. Ancestral spirit. Spirit wife. Spirit wife. Python snake spirit. Cash fire come out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Whatever they have used to initiate somebody here, initiate into a kingdom, serpentize the kingdom. By the blood of Jesus, I lose you. By the blood of Jesus, I cancel your name in their record. I command their name to be missing right now. Now, that snake they projected as the mark of belonging to that kingdom. Let that snake die your body now. Die. Come out. Come out. Enter. Come out. Quickly, quickly. Oh, just watch out. You serpent. You snake. You snake. Oh, yeah. Die. I said, Die. Show me a sign. Holy Ghost. Show me a sign. Le Carizi Genia. The scandal there. I command the sledgehammer of the Holy Ghost to break the head of that Sleviathan, of that serpent, of that python. Die, die, die. You stay, die. You stay, you speak just stay, die. Catch fire, die. Come out. Come out. Watch out, that person is being delivered now. I command that they come out and enter fire in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. 
every plant which my heavenly father did not plant your life it must be rooted off all of you that are initiated in any witchcraft kingdom no 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 kingdom marine kingdom uh, you know falling angels anywhere you are initiated i bring the yoke today now i decree your deliverance the holy ghost give me a sign all of them wherever you are by lot wherever they have changed you wherever prison i put you into wherever you are initiated wherever you are tied that you can never be free now i command by the authority in the name of jesus oh yeah be free yes yes that is an order that is a command i'm waiting for you they will release you they will release you they will release you from any temple any altar any pit any river any ocean in the astral world wherever any prison wherever they're holding you be free please 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 bring them out holy ghost bring them out father bring them out bring them out lose them lose them anywhere they have vowed you can never be free but today that matter is over as i count several all of you that vowed that you can never be free as i count seven begin with a count of one they will throw you out on that place one lose be free It is the spirit that does the work and is working now to lose. Three loses. Bring them out. Holy Ghost, bring them, bring them out. Bring them out. I break the yoke. I break those prisons. I break the chains. I read those power. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. Four plus. Five plus. Six plus. Seven be free. By the authority in the name of Jesus. I declare you free. My daddy, glorify your name once again. In the life of each and everyone here, he they speak. That person with high name be he. That person having a problem at your right leg. I command that problem be cancelled, be uprooted. And I pray for you that I cannot sleep in the night, in fact, with a lot of terrible dreams. If you close eyes, I cancel the evil, be free. You need to sleep like a baby in Jesus' name. And I pray for you, you are rejected in your family for no just cause because the fact that you are 
and a disgrace that is what they see it today i cancel the evil i turn it that from this day all the members of your family will bow before you and i pray that moving object i constantly be uprooted now be healed and that person cannot swallow something i command the god you know, whatever is the problem be uprooted from that neck in jesus name let their truth to be healed let that cancer of the of the lungs be healed in jesus name i command the you know, the blessed lungs disappear in jesus name I pray for you. All those struggle and struggle, I plead you for you. I pray by the grace of God, you possess your possessions in Jesus' name. And I pray for somebody here today. God will give you victory in that your case. That case you have, that case. I'm assuring you, today is a day of victory for you. Receive your victory in Jesus' name. I command your way be open. Let your business begin to blossom again in Jesus' name. You see that battle, I command victory for you. And I decree that that your husband, very sick, shall not die in that sickness. I cancel it in Jesus' name. Lord, recover what this person have lost. I pray that when bring that bad person back to that employment, to that position in Jesus' name. My daddy, deliver my people. Let the cobwebs be cancelled. I return back to the sender in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. All I'm asking you in this program, my daddy, this is a program before a program. Now I pray, Lord, every one of them, use them as a sign to what is going to happen. By giving them all their request their glory in jesus name say amen spirit of the living god i decree that everyone here shall receive a visitation as i speak take over speak to everyone bless everyone all this one that I brought in my presence, I bind every split of power troubling them. I cast those spirit to abyss permanently in Jesus' name. I so to the blood of Jesus, I decide to save them free. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Shall we get seated? Shall we get seated? When Jesus in our midst, nothing shall be possible. When Jesus in our midst, nothing shall be possible. When Jesus. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me, my Lord Jesus, remember me. Father, Father in heaven, remember Do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. All the glory will be your own. Father, Falling heaven, do it for me. He will do it for you. Turn your Bible to Isaiah 59. 
Isaiah chapter 59 I read verse 19 Isaiah 59 and verse 19 so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him in Hosea chapter Hosea chapter 5 look at your Bible Hosea chapter 5 and I read from verse 1 Hosea chapter 5 verse 1 and it reads hear ye this O priests hearken ye house of Israel and give ear give ye ear O house of the king of the king for judgment is towards you because you have been a snare of misfit and a net spread upon table. Verse 2. And the revolters are profaned to make slaughter, though I have been a rebuker of them all. In John chapter 10, verse 10, John chapter 10. I read past 10. Look at your Bible. And it says, and I read, The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. And so from these chapters and verses, I'm bringing a topic to you. And the topic is God will surely intervene. Yeah. I don't know what you are passing through. I want to let you know the Lord made me to understand there is somebody here that needed special intervention. Yeah. And uh, if you are the one, because of you, this message is coming your way. Yeah. I said somebody, whether you are here or hearing me somewhere, this message is for you. Yeah. I want to take note of this fact. Many are going through terrible situations that require urgent attention terrible situation in life and they have sought remedy from man and so from some other source yet no solution and I want to let you know that is the case of many people who are here today praise the Lord Somebody was sharing testimony today. He said he went to a place because of looking for solution and because of what is passing through, not money, nothing, nothing. And he went looking for solution and they said you are going to go for three days dry fasting. And he went through dry fasting and nearly died. And yet the solution was not inside. The remedy was not found. But just coming here, the yoke was broken. And before you know it, the, you know, three people are just calling him, come and take employment. And listening to me, you see the person I'm talking about here now. That is what will happen after this prayer. Favor. Yeah. Intervention. Yeah. Uh, divine visitation. In fact, from this day, that's the beginning of a new era in your life. Yeah. And the Lord will surely visit you and give you victory in Jesus' name. Yeah. So, are you like that, young man? Uh, and you have come to here and there. No solution. 
I've even told you to do this or that, and yet, that's the suffering. The problem has persisted, and it appears there is no hope in sight. And anything can happen. Anything can happen in case of if there is further delay in what we are going through. In the condition you are into, if you are not giving attention, anything can happen anytime. And this is why you are here today looking for remedy. I congratulate you. God will surely intervene. You have come to the last bus stop. Praise the Lord. I want to let you know that our God is the Almighty, is the all-powerful. Our God has overall power. And I want to let you know, no problem will survive him. And of course, if you listen to testifiers, you will agree with me that no problem survive this place. Praise the Lord. So get ready. If that case that is there threatening your life, threatening your career, threatening your future, threatening your marriage, if that case that if there is for that delay that there might be complete destruction, I'm assuring you, God will intervene. Are you hearing me? No wonder, no wonder you are here because of that case. And even you are watching online and watching and say, Lord, please, I need intervention from outside the country, all over the world. And you are watching because you know that it's not here. And you, have, you know, you believe that the remedy must come from above. And you know that God or choosing is a living God. And that's why you are here. And that's why you are watching. I congratulate you. I congratulate you because the reason is that having that awareness, that then victory is certain. I say, I congratulate you. Can I hear you say amen to that? The, those of old who had problems, they always look up unto God because they know. He knows that he has the final say. He has the final remedy. And the Bible said in the book of Psalm 121, verse 1. Psalm 121, verse 1. And I read Psalm 121, verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and it. Yes, this man could not look elsewhere. He looked up unto the great God, the living God. And God saw him through. And if you are looking up unto God, the same God will see you through. So, all such people should understand that God will surely intervene today. Are you hearing me? And deliver them deliver you from that ugly situation in Jesus name look at Psalm 50 Psalm 50 verse 15 he is waiting he is ever ready he has the power he has whatever it takes to deliver you to set you free and that is why he is said to intervene Psalm 50 verse 1 I mean verse 15 rather 50 verse 15 and I read and call upon me the day of trouble. I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Are you ready to give him glory? Are you ready to give him the share your testimony? Are you ready to glorify God to talk about his doing his power in your life in that situation? I say, Are you ready? Uh, I'm assuring you, he will deliver you. He will he surely intervene. And that problem shall be no more in Jesus' name. Be it in your marriage, 
in your health, in your career, your business, whatever, be it battle, left, right, front, and back, this God will deliver you. He will visit you. He will intervene. Be it in any place in Nigeria, in Africa, all over the world, wherever you are, and the trouble have reached your neck, and the enemy is after you, and you are very, very, you know, you are very, very afraid. What will happen if this thing will continue? There is nothing to worry about. Are you hearing me? Your father is ready. Your father has the power. Do you know what he said? Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. He didn't say, I may deliver you. He didn't say, I can deliver you. He said, I will. I will definitely, I will do what? Deliver you. He see you that is here today. God will deliver you. I don't know what you are passing through. This is the day of victory. This is the day of intervention. This is the day of visitation. If you believe it, count it down. Somebody say amen to that. So in this message, I'm going to consider the following subheadings. One, the reasons, examples, and God's promise. Two, our expected response and the benefits. So we're going to look at the point number one. Our take note, point number one, the reasons, examples, and God's promises. Pay attention. God is our heavenly Father who has all power to do all things. Take note. God is who? I'm, I'm not hearing you. God is our heavenly Father. And as the result, as a father, he has a role to play in our lives. As a father, my friend, he will care for you. He will help you. He will sustain you. He will give you hard desires. Because his father and our father which art in heaven. The Bible says so. If you look at your Bible in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. If you look at it, I say God is our father. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. Please open your Bible. Let's read Matthew chapter 6, reading verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray our Father which art in heaven. Is who? Our Father which art in heaven. Is our creator, is our maker. In fact, we are his children. He created us. So he is who? Our Father, which art in heaven. If you look at this place in Matthew chapter 7, I read Matthew chapter 7. Look at your Bible. Matthew chapter 7. In verse 7. As it shall be given unto you. Given you. Seek and you shall find. Not and it shall be opened. It shall be what? Opened. And then look at verse 8. For everyone that asketh, receive it. And he that seeketh the word, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Of what man is there of you? Whom, if a son asks bread, will he give him a stone? I'm asking this question. The Lord is asking this question. Look at that place you are reading in verse 10. Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you be a father, will you give your children that are asking you for fish serpent? I'm asking you a question. Now, look at verse 
the eleven. If you then be evil, of course, there is no one that is good. Every human being has an evil nature. And he said, if you then be evil, know how to give good things, good gifts unto your children. How much more shall what? Your heavenly Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him. My friend, listen to me. He is our heavenly Father. And because he's our heavenly Father, I want to let you know he will take care of you. He will not allow the devil, the demon, and the human agent to kill you, to destroy you, to put you in perpetual suffering, God forbid. He see this day, he will intervene. If you then being evil, and then you can take care of your children, how much more the only good God, the embodiment of goodness, the merciful, the compassionate, the loving Father, how much more Him, your Father, which art in heaven, I'm assuring you, He will give you good things. If you believe it, say Amen. I want you to understand that that's the more reason that he will surely intervene because he is what? Your father which art in heaven. Not just you know, father that is earthly and, and limited and lack things to help or to, you know, to care for the children. He is the all-sufficient God, almighty God. He is the omnipotent God. He is the owner of heaven and earth. In fact, he has all this. He is the all-powerful God. Therefore, there is nothing he cannot do. He is the creator of all things. I do not know the trouble you are into. Who is making trouble with you? Can he make trouble with God? Who is fighting you? Can he fight God? Now, I don't know what you are going through, but I want to let you know, your father which at the heaven is all powerful. When he steps into your situation, is the man of voice, is the mighty warrior. If he steps into your situation, victory is certain. He see today. I am assuring you, God will definitely intervene. You see what you are passing through? It is nothing before you are God. The Bible said unto him, every knee shall do what? Bow. You see here today, your problem will bow. Your sickness will bow. Affliction will bow. That sorrow will bow. All that are fighting you, spiritually and physically, they must bow. You see today, he has come for a special intervention. Don't ask me, how can he do it? Does he have the power? Look at Psalm 62. Psalm 62 and read verse 11. Please open your Bible. I'm talking about God, the creator of heaven and earth. Are you asking me, does he have power uh, to do all this? Are you saying, does he have the resources? Are you saying, can he do it? Now, look at that place I'm reading now. Psalm 62 and verse 11. Look at your Bible. God has spoken once. Who is speaking? God has spoken once. What is he saying? Twice have I had this. The power belongeth unto God. It says, when he speaks, it re-echoes. The psalmist said, God said, power belongs to me. But in the ear of the psalmist, because he's God, it re-echoes. Power belongeth to God. Power belongeth to God. Power belong is the owner of power. Are you hearing me? And because the owner of power, he has no rivalry. He has no ball that content with him. As long as he steps into your situation, my friends, every power troubling you will cease to operate. Yes, now he is the owner of power. And therefore, if he step into your situation, the power you are using to pray is the owner. Your power will cease. And then when your power ceases, well, the next thing you have to do, if you are still breathing, you will fall down and begin to beg. 
I, I don't know whether I've seen where spiritual, spirit, you know, spiritual officers and those who are very under, uh, where they are they say, um, you know, come here. They will say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Are you hearing me? Especially when that one was, you know, making head and making head at the uh, white talk, and then the spiritual officer comes and says, come here. He said, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Is he here today? You are probably will answer yes, sir. Yeah. Who is purer than God? Answer me now. Who is purer than he that is from above? The Bible says, He that is above is above all. Is he here today? All those small, small power. All those small, small spirits, demons, Satan and demons, small spirits that troubling you, they must bow here today. Yeah. You will receive your solution, freedom, deliverance. In fact, intervention is coming your way. He said, God has spoken words. How many times are you hearing it? Eh? The psalmist said, Twice. Has I, have I heard it? He said, Power! Power! Now listen to me. If power belongs to him and you are in trouble and you are his son, own daughter and son, and then he has all the power, I allow you to die in that trouble. Oh, my people, answer me now. Power belongs to him. And then his, uh, the son, the daughter is suffering. A uh, small spirit is holding the son, the daughter, and twisting the neck. And the person that owns the power says, Kill my son, God forbid. He see you today. God will definitely intervene. Because power. I, I'm not hearing you again. And because power belongs to him there is no impossibility with him in Matthew chapter 19 verse 26 let's read Matthew chapter 19 I'm showing you the reason at this day God will surely I'm not hearing you again in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 26 but Jesus beheld them and said unto them with men this is impossible but with God how many I don't know what you are going through is among all things I don't know the trial I don't know the attack or the battle I don't know the you know disappointment and delay barrenness and poverty I don't know what you are going through with God, with God, with God, solution is coming your way in Jesus' name. He see you, you will surely testify. Somebody gave us testimony and said they mentioned the date of his death. And told the so so day is going to die. And then when he carried the matter to the father, what did the father say? Cancel it. The date has come and gone. Is he not living? He see you today. No matter what your enemy may have said, no matter where they drag you to. No matter where they sue you, no matter where they are celebrating your downfall, he will bring you out from there. No matter where they are jubilating and dancing and celebrating, that uh, as long as they are concerned, your case is finished. Today, God will open the case afresh. God will surely with him how many is see you 
thing that will run, you know, people are free to come to a place of truth, of holiness, of righteousness. And because, you know, you are not afraid, you want to live holy, you want to do the will of God, and you are rushed to choose it. My friend, your matter will be settled today. You know, some place they say fast three days and four days. And you know, my friend, here is one touch. We don't need to place you. Know, you are going, you are, the greatest sin is to come in and you are in. Am I right? Now you are here, then something will happen. Somebody will ask, what will happen? <laughs> Let me ask you. Let me ask you this question. If rain is falling now, eh, do you need to fast and pray so the rain will touch you? I'm asking you now. Rain is falling. Rain is falling. And then you say, I need to get a rain to touch me. Let me fast for three days. My friend, something is wrong with you. You see here, there is sound of abundance of rain. The rain of power, the wind of power is blowing. As soon as you step into this place, it will touch you and your problem shall be no more. Are you getting ready now? He see you. You have come in the right time. Hey, he see today, God will give you answer. With him, with him, all things are so take note all those who prefer or offer remedy or solution humanly or otherwise are his creatures God created, created all of them and all of them have limited power and cannot do more or less than God permitted can they answer me now? They cannot. If you look at the Bible, the Bible said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, in the beginning, who created all things? Look at it. In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. Psalm 24, verse 1 says, The earth is of the Lord, and the fullness thereof. Who owns everything? In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 16. Please open your Bible. Let's read. God is the owner. God is the creator. God is the all-powerful. Is the all-knowing. Is the all-seeing God. What they cannot do does not exist. Are you hearing me? I'm reading Colossians chapter 1 from verse 16. For by him, how many things? All things, all things, by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominion or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. He is before all things and by him all things consist. God created all things, principalities of powers of dominion. All things were created by who? God. And they, as a result of that, they cannot oppose him. They cannot stand him. They cannot say, God, come and walk on her. Come and deliver. Let me see. They can't say, who is God? They can't challenge God. If they do, I'm listening to me, that would be a disaster to so that being. Where is Pharaoh? Where are they that challenged God before? Answer me, where are they? My friend, God said, Pharaoh, I gave you the permission. I created you to do that so that people will know my name and know my power. Praise the Lord. Therefore, God created how many things? Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. And I read, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, 
For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and we are created. Including that thing troubling you. Including that spirit, that being, set and a demon, and principally powers. Everything, that human being, God created all things for his pleasure, and for his pleasure they are and we are created. So when they are acting, God allows them to take pleasure. Not they have power to overcome God. God is taking pleasure. And when they finish advertising God, God will do all, intervene. He will bring you to Jesus and say, go there and take your miracle. Are you here to say? <laughs> God sent you here. You must take your miracle. Because God that allow that situation. He has already advertised it after healing today. People, somebody told us, I don't know whether he had it, somebody told us he had a problem and uh, he came here, problem in the leg. He wasn't walking well and it was a terrible problem. As soon as he stepped into this place and prayer was made and he began to walk home and went to, everybody in the area was, where, what, what kind of, where do you go? What happened? That's what is happening here. As you are here today, all those that saw you as a poor man, they will, after today, they will see the glory of God in your life. All those that saw you as a star that cannot marry, after today, people will rush for you. Those that see you as an unemployed fellow and that you are, you know, you cannot do anything and you are hated. After today, they will see people rushing to give you appointments. If you believe it, say, Amen. I put it on you. God will surely intervene. If you believe it, say, Amen. In that your marriage, in that your business, in that your head, in that your family, in that battle, God will surely visit you. If you believe it, say, Amen. He has done it before. Will he do it again? How many of you believe that God will do it again? He see today. Your matter will be given attention. You know, I don't want to talk too much. Because I have assignment somewhere. Are you hearing me? I don't want to talk too much. It's action, action. Today is a day of what? <laughs> and my father will act in your life. How many people are believing me? Who among you want me to talk too much? Anybody? Anybody who want me to talk too much? Praise the Lord. I am not ready to talk what? I am here for what? Action, action. He see you today. My father will surely visit you. And that your expectation shall be granted in Jesus' name. What is your expectation? I'm asking you a question. Somebody like you, or even you, I will hear your testimony. Praise the Lord. I don't know the problem that brought you here. But one thing I know is that God has brought you here today to provide what? Solution, remedy. And who can hinder him? That man or that woman? Praise the Lord. I don't know who, but he cannot prevail. Can I hear you say amen? So get ready. You are going home with miracle. Yeah. If you believe it, say amen. Yeah. Only God has power that cannot be opposed. In Isaiah chapter 43, I read from verse 10, Isaiah. 
chapter 43 from verse 10 and I read Isaiah 43 only God has power that cannot be what? I, I didn't hear you again chapter 43 verse 10 ye are my witnesses says the Lord and my servant whom I have chosen that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he before me there was no God formed neither shall I be after me I, even I I am the Lord and beside me there is no a savior I have declared, I have said, I have showed. Well, there was no strange God among you. Therefore, ye are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am He. And there is no one I can deliver out of my hand. I will walk, and who can oppose it? Who can revise it? Who can hinder him? He see you today. God will surely intervene. He does all things. In fact, all things from A to Z. Look at Isaiah 44, verse 24. 44, verse 24. And I read Isaiah 44, and verse 24. Thus says the Lord, thy redeemer and he that formed thee from the womb I am the Lord that maketh all things how many I am the Lord that maketh all things from A to Z is see you God will make you every will to God will visit you in every front. God will defend you and deliver you totally. And that unopposed, unopposed by man, by demon, by any being. Nobody can hinder him. He sees you today. He will give you your own husband. He will give you your own wife, your own children. He will deliver you from every cause and every battle in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I want to let you know, all things are subject to who? To him. Isaiah chapter 45. I read verse 23. Isaiah 45 and verse 23. I have sworn by myself. The word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. I want to let you know everything is subject to who? So, you see your problem is subject to God. You see that enemy is subject to God. You see that what we are going through. My friend, our God is the man of war is subject to God. God will give you victory. I say God will defeat your enemy. I want you to take note of this. What God cannot do does not exist. In Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27 Jeremiah 32 and verse 27 and I read Jeremiah 32 and verse 27 Behold I am the Lord the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? Anything to save you, is it too hard for God? To hear you, is it too hard for God? Somebody was giving us testimony on Sunday. He told us they brought him here as embassy, and he cannot talk. He cannot move any of the body. He was complete embassy. And he was giving us testimony. But when he came here and prayer was made, the whole body was changed to normal. And he said, now I can preach 
I can go to evangelism and he looked very vibrant. And while he was giving that testimony, praise the Lord, there was another case of somebody who was born as a monster with tears and with also horns and like with animal face. And they said to the mother, throw that child away. But the mother said, no, he said, I want this child. And the mother, being also a police officer, brought that child here. And then we pray and cause those things. And the tail fall out and everything fall off. And that child today is sound and is in secondary school. He see here today. Our God can do all this. Two women came to our workers' conference in 2018. And two of them were hunchback women for five years. And they look, you know, this is a mystery. Two of them were the same age, for five years, for five years. And they were carrying hunchback, walking and bending. And as I begin to pray, command hunchback to go, immediately the hunchback led two of them and they walk straight. I mean, they walk normal. Our God can do all things. I want to let you know, there was this woman that came here with cancer and the, the loot has given up. They said, go and prepare to die. You cannot survive. And after praying for this woman, instantly, the woman fell down and they carried her out um, to the surprise of every human being. And when they opened the body where the cancer well, if there was operation carried as stitched, but no human being did it. To there, that woman lived on and survived. I want to let you know, your God can do all things. He has brought many dead people to life. He has made many dead and dumb to hear his book. On thousands of them, un uncountable. Blind people and paralyzed people and all people with the kidney problem, he changes at once. Heart problem, liver problem, uh, you know, whatever deformity. He see you, to, he has made, you know, poor people, for poor, to become rich men. And accounting millions and billions. Poor people that step into this place. He has made those who have lost hope that they're going to marry. And they marry at old age. Imagine one of the surprise one, a woman that you know had five, six children, and then the husband that died, and then he gave all of them to marriage. And the boys married, the children, the girls married, and he was 62 years. After all of them married, and then they married her too. He see you today. That thing that is impossible. The day he was giving us testimony, he's already living with the new husband. All the children are gone to their home, and are gone to their home. Then they came and married her. He see you. God will put laughter in your mouth. Every delay, disappointment, everything that causes sorrow. The Bible said, every plan which my heavenly father did not plan shall be rooted up. That evil shall go away from you. If you believe, he said, Amen. God will surely. Are you getting ready? The devil come to keep, to steal, to destroy, but I am calm. That then I have life, I have it more abundantly. He see you. You will go home with testimony. Let me ask you again, is there anything too hard for God? So, he has no comparison. He has no rivalry. He has no equal. In Isaiah chapter 46, verse 4, Isaiah 46, I read verse 4. Look at your Bible. 46 and verse 4. Let's read verse 5. Go straight to the point. To whom will you like him me? And make me equal, who? And compare me, who? That we may be like nobody. It has no equal, it has no comparison, it has no rivalry. 
is the is the one that's above all. He is almighty, all powerful. He's all sufficient. He's omnipotent. He's God that liveth forever. Praise the Lord, the Creator and Maker of the ends of earth. So, being our Father, He has intervened of old to demonstrate His care over us, His creatures, His children, and His primacy over all. He has intervened to prove that I have no rivalry. To those of old, to those who worship him before, God has proved that he cares for them as father. And also, he has no rivalry. He deals with their enemy and their problem. To prove that he is the almighty. What do I call him? Almighty. I don't know what we are passing through. In the book of Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. Genesis 17 verse 1. He said, look at the Bible. And I read Genesis 17 and from verse 1. And it reads from verse 1. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am what? The Almighty God. What before me and be thou perfect. He's almighty mighty to save, to deliver, to heal, to provide, mighty in battle, mighty to do all things. He has no rivalry. In time past, all the cases that were brought to him, he dealt with them to show that he has no limitation. He has no rivalry. He is not in want of power to heal, to deliver. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, let's see. Matthew chapter 4, and read verse 23. And he reads chapter 4, and from verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching the synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness, all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers disease and torment, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic, and those that had the palsy. And he healed them. He see, every case of problem was brought to him in time of old. And the Bible said, He healed them. None of the cases survived. He see here today. God will hit all of you. God will visit all of you. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 4. In Matthew chapter 11 verse 4. Jesus answered and said unto him, Go and show John. Again, those things which you do here and see. The blind receive their sight. The lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. And the deaf hear. And the dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to him. He does all things. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 15, Matthew chapter 12, verse 15. But when Jesus knew it, he would do himself from thence, and let more follow him, and he hid them all. How many? He see you here today. You have cheer of your miracle. Your own miracle. In fact, when when Joseph, who was favored by the father, and who has also favor in the sight of God, God gave him dreams upon dreams on what is going to be. The brethren envied him, and they wanted to kill him because of his dreams. And God intervened and delivered Joseph from the hands of his brethren. And even went ahead and made the prime minister of Egypt. God in heaven, he see you. I don't know those that conspired to destroy you because of your future. They will serve you. As Joseph of old, the brethren at a point in time they came and said, we your servant. He see you. 
they must be subject to you. That you read in Genesis 37, verse 17 to 22. God intervened, delivered him from the hands of his enemies and still made him whom he wanted him to be. In Exodus chapter 3, verse 7, the children of Israel were in the land of Egypt for many years and their enemies, though that hold them captive, tormented them for 430 years. And God came down as a matter of what? Intervention. And look at Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. I read chapter 3, verse 7. And the Lord said, I've truly seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. I've heard their cry by the reason of the taskmasters, for I know they are sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hands of Egyptians and to bring them out, up out of that up out of that land unto a good land and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. The Lord said, I have seen what you are going through. I'm now content away to bring you out and give you a good place. He see you. God has seen what you are going through all these years. Walking like an elephant, eating like an ant, struggling, and every time nearly, and every time sorrow, sorrow from one sickness or the other, problem left, right, front, and back. And you are wondering, how long will you be in this condition? God has seen it. He has come to deliver you. He sees you. That problem is over. Do you agree? That problem is over. So, I don't know what you are going through. If you look at the book of Matthew chapter 14, I read verse 24. Matthew 14, verse 24. And it reads, 14, 24. But the sheep was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with wind, with, with waves, for the wind was contrary, and in the fourth watch of the, of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straight away, Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him, and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was gone down after the sheep, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. And he cried, Say it, Lord. You see, sometimes some people, many, many people, when they started following the Lord, they followed him by faith. But when they begin to see the raging trouble sea in the wall, they begin to do a sink. Are you sinking? Is your faith sinking? Are you sinking? And now you are complaining, you are murmuring, you are saying problem is everywhere, you, are, you want to die, you want to die, you. my friend, you are not like Peter. The Lord is still waiting to intervene. Peter cried out and said what? Lord, save me. And let us see how the Lord intervened without wasting time. Look at that place we are reading. But start one. It's in, and immediately. Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the sheep, 
the wind sees. The Lord is now. He sees you. If your faith is sinking, if you are afraid, if you have started following Jesus by faith, but now you are walking by sight and carnally, cry out. Today, the Lord will intervene. He will deliver you and establish your goings. So, get ready. At the Red Sea, he intervened. Did he? In Egypt, he intervened. Did he? And also, when there was no food and water, did he intervene? Yes, he gave them manna from heaven, water from the rock. He intervened. When there was no food for the multitude that came for Jesus who said, he intervened. And they ate half enough and left over. I don't know what they are going through. When there was battle in the wilderness, he intervened and fought a man against Amalekite and all the enemies and gave them victory. You see here today, the Lord will intervene. At the, river, at the river Jordan, he intervened. At the wall of Jericho, did he intervene? He intervened, and the wall came down flat. And they took over and possessed that possession. I don't know what they are passing through. I don't have too much time today. I would have read a lot of lessons, but look at his place. Psalm 34, verse 6. Whatever be the problem, do something. Are you hearing me? Psalm 34, verse 6. It reads, look at it very well. 34, and verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord had him and abandoned him. Answer me now. This poor man cried, the Lord had him and closed his eyes. What happened? This poor man cried, the Lord had him and delivered him from small problems, so few problems. Now, read it very well. This poor man cried, and the Lord had him and saved him out of all his troubles. You, you will follow suit. You will be the next person. And so call upon God in prayer at the end of this program. This very service, this promise of God will fulfill in your life. This poor man cried. If you will hold God on the basis of his promises and cry to heaven concerning that situation, God will surely intervene. So, no matter the problem, God has promised us in his holy word, holy scriptures. He has made promises upon promises. And I read this one for you. Psalm 50 verse 15 says, And call upon me in the day of trouble. What happened? I will intervene. I will deliver you. And that shall glorify me. Call upon me in time of trouble. He is waiting for you to call. Have you called? Are you here to call upon him today? He will answer you. And also in First Peter chapter 5, verse 7, he says, What? Well, casting all your care upon him. What happened? For well, he cared for you. He see today, as you bring that problem before God, I will give you a solution. You will have it. And in Jude chapter 2, verse 32, he said, it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. He see here today, as you call upon God, God will deliver you. Amen. Remember, at the grave of Lazarus, Jesus called upon, upon God Almighty and Lazarus came back to life. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know your situation. And that man that was born blind, and who? The, the man who was born blind, when he met with Jesus Christ, that was all. The two eyes got open. The Lord is that man. And the important man in John chapter 5, verse 1 to 8, that important man who could not walk for that eight years, once he met Jesus, 
that was the end of it. A paralysis. He walked and carried all his bed and went home. Today, as God has bid us to call upon him as a matter of promise, can he lie? Has he power to deliver us? Has he power to meet all our needs? Can he ever intervene? You see, today is a day of intervention. He will deliver you. He will heal you. He will visit you. Whatever the enemy may have done, he said, he comes to keep to steal and to destroy. But I am calm that they may have life, have it more. He see you today. Abundance of life shall be yours. Freedom shall be yours. Victory shall be yours. Blessing shall be yours. That takes me to point number two. Our expected response and the benefit. No matter the situation, the ugly situation, the troublous situation, God has the solution. He has answer and remedy to all your problem. And what he cannot do does not exist. No power, no spirit, no being, no kingdom can do it. Are you hearing me? In fact, what God cannot do does not exist. He has power to do and undo. To make rich, to make poor, to kill, and to make alive. He has the power. Does he? According to the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6 to 8, God has power to do all things. I don't know what they are passing through. So, today, as we present a problem or matters that require urgent attention, God will surely answer and give us immediate solution in Jesus' name. And the Bible says, this, this poor man cries. The Lord closed his ears. What happened? The Lord had him and delivered him from all his trouble. In fact, that poor man has got all his portion from the Lord. It is you today. You. All your trouble is going away. All the battle victory is coming your way. I don't know the trouble you are into. Look at it for the last time. In Psalm 40 verse 1. Psalm chapter 40. Please look at verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord. And he climbed. And he climbed unto me. And had my cry. God will hear you today. I will listen to you today. He will hear your cry. He will hear your prayers. Every problem you brought here must receive attention. Look at that place again. And he said, He brought me up also out of an horrible pit. The pit of poverty you are coming out. The pit of court cases you are coming out. The key pit of trouble, we are coming out. The pit of unemployment, we are coming out. The pit of death, we are coming out. Every pit that have dug for you in the spirit of his children, anywhere the enemy has channeled you, contrary to the will of God, God is bringing you out today in Jesus' name. It seems to them. The Lord will not miss his mark. His determination is to intervene and to bring you out of that horrible pit, horrible problem of barrenness, disappointment in life, and delay in marriage, and rising and falling, enemy within without, trouble everywhere. He has come to deliver who, who, who? Who? Look at that problem for the last time. 
Look at that place we are reading. He said, out of a horrible pit, out of a Mary Claire, and set my feet upon a rock. You see today, your foundation will be solidly laid upon the rock of ages. Upon Jesus Christ. And he said, and establish my going. Upon that rock, you will go in and go out and no evil shall be for you. You will succeed and make progress in life in Jesus' name. So take note. I don't know what you are going through. Look at verse 3. And he has put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto God. Many shall cease and fear and shall trust in the Lord. He see you today. What the Lord will do, you will sing a new song. After doing people will see and they were afraid for what God has done for you. Praise the Lord. So are you getting ready now? I want to take note. God that did it for them in time past. I did it for many of you in time past. He is here. He is here. And he will definitely do it again in Jesus' name. He has come for immediate and final solution. Immediate. Immediate. Final solution is coming your way. Do you agree with me? No wonder he has invited us to come to there to bring all our problems to him and he will give us immediate solution. In Matthew chapter 20, chapter 11 verse 27, he said, all things are delivered unto me of my father. Verse 28, he said, come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy land, and I will give you rest. And in Luke chapter 14, verse 17, he said, come, for all things are now ready. Are you ready for those things? And in Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, he said, ask anything in my name, I will. He said, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you will find. Knock. And the Lord shall open it for everyone that ask it, receive it. Today, you will receive. Spiritually, physically, materially, financially, you will receive. I don't know what you are looking for. God will give it to you. Sister, God will give it to you. He will give you sound health. He will bring peace to your marriage. He will bless your children. He will bless your family. He will heal your body. He will fight all your battle. He see today, all oh, my brothers are here. Solution is coming your way. The God that intervened of old is here to intervene again. He said in Matthew chapter 7, verse 8, He said, For everyone that asketh, receive it. In John chapter 14, verse 13, let's read. John chapter 14, verse 13. And I read 14 and verse 13. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Verse 14. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Whatever you ask, the God who cannot lie, say what? I didn't hear you very well. The embodiment of truth, the embodiment of holiness, said what? Will he do it? Ask anything in my name. So, your matter is settled. The rest are short. You are going home with intervention. And all of you that are wondering, what will it happen in Imo State program? Some of you are asking, what will happen? How can it happen? Be rest assured, the Lord will surely intervene in that crusade. 
and there shall be testimonies and miracles and signs and wonders and protection and blessings and favors in Jesus name I say in him was death God will do all he will surely it have him. but as for you that is here in Lagos as for a sign what is it you are going through God will give you surprises he see you as soon as you stand up to pray that will be the end of that problem rise up and say anything in my name I will do it as for whatever you came for as for salvation restoration sanctification deliverance victory favor and victory ask the Lord visit me fight for I oh, rise up and pray everybody pray with him all things are possible there is no impossibility with him everybody pray I don't know what you are looking for. God is surely in heaven. In most state program, God is surely in heaven. Everybody pray. God is surely in heaven. See this program coming up in Imo State. Anywhere in the world, wherever choosing a gathering, the Holy surely in heaven. Everybody pray. Is seeing that your case, the Holy surely in heaven. Pray, pray. Everybody pray. Intervention from above. Everybody pray. Look at that trouble for the last time, that battle for the last time, God is giving you victory. Everybody pray. I say anything in my name, I will do it. I will do it. I will deliver you. I will heal you. I will bless you. I will meet all your needs. With whom all things are possible. I say nature my name, I will do it. It's the time. It is your turn for God's intervention. God will surely intervene. Definitely intervene. Certainly intervene. Pray. Everybody pray. God will certainly intervene. Pray and pray through. Present that matter to him. There is nothing he cannot do. With who? With him? All things are possible. He will surely intervene. He will deliver you. He will fight for you. He will avail. He will make a way where there's no way. He will visit you. Oh, we surely avail. Pray. Everybody pray. Call upon him. He is a prayer answering God. The prayer answering God. He will avail. Call, call. Everybody pray, everybody pray, everybody pray. Oh Lord, remember me for good. It I in my situation. Bless me and meet my need. Uri Kuri Zingeno. Let's end the Lord of Lovia. As Angelia can pray. It I Everybody pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. He answer prayer. He answer prayer. He answer prayer. 
He answered prayer, he answered prayer, he answered prayer. Lord of his answer 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 prayer. Amen. You see that prayer you made is already done. For on this moment, the God whom I serve, the God of the chosen, he has intervened. Before I pray for you in details, just keep your offering up. I want to pray for you. Keep it up. Keep your offering up. As you keep up your offering, you begin to praise God and thank God and worship God for what He has done already. Close your eyes, worship Him. As you give that offering up. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we present our offering and tithe and pledges to you. No one can give above you. That in heaven we are very grateful because you have already intervened in all our requests. As we give this token, sanctify it by the blood of Jesus. And wherever we shall place this and I command it to prosper. Lord, as we give to you this hour, give us open door, give us beyond our expectations in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Keep it up. Our just are coming in. Keep it up. Call upon me in the day of trouble. Call upon me. I will answer you. I will answer you. I answer you. I will answer. I will answer you. I will answer you. I will answer you. I 
call upon me. I will answer. I will answer you. In the day of sorrow, call upon me. I will answer. I will answer you. Call upon me, I will answer, I will answer you. A big amen to that song. Now is the hour of confirmation. That thing you mentioned in prayer, that you are, had desire and urgent situation, problem that brought to here. In the name of Jesus Christ, whom I serve, I declare all granted. That sorrowful woman because of a strange woman that your husband that captured your husband to lay, receive deliverance. I turn that man against that lady. That lady against that man. I separate them in Jesus' name. A person having terrible stomach upset. I command healing in Jesus' name. The one having forgetfulness, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Loss of memory, let your memory be restored. And you having ratchets and scratches in your body, I command it to disappear in Jesus' name. And I command that lead poison. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I cost let the poison. Let it dry up in Jesus' name. And I pray for you that you are wayward child, smoking and living a bad life. I command deliverance for that your child in Jesus' name. I pray for you that your marriage that is checking, checking, checking. Because of the eyes of the people, of the in-laws in that marriage. Lord, deliver that marriage in Jesus' name. And you marry for a long time, no child. And you are asking for intervention. You want to carry your own baby. Can you raise your hand up? If you represent your wife, raise your hands up. Now, the young man for almost 13 years, no child. I pray the yoke receive power. Let that your wife conceive in Jesus' name. Now, woman for 19 years plus, I pray the yoke to them. Collect your baby in Jesus' name. And that person for seven years, I pray the yoke to them. For six years, I pray the yoke to them. For four years to five years, I pray the yoke to them. For that person, ten years, I pray the yoke in Jesus' name. You that enter menopause, nothing to worry about. Now, for almost that is something years you marry, no child. You have you don't pray for it again, but now a possibility will make possible your life. Let everything that constitutes the men of my purpose be connected, receive power to conceive in Jesus' name. That is something yes. I pray that you keep your life. I decree that before this time next year. That shall be cry of a baby. And I command that prostrate cancer be healed. 
I command that hyena shrink and disappear. I command open door in that we are business in Jesus' name. Those goods we cannot sell, let them be sold. And that your goods hanging somewhere, I command them to release it. And I pray that authority holding your goods, I command them to release and call you to come and clear your goods in Jesus' name. My daddy, you make impossibility to become possible. Daddy, you are the one that make it the poor to be rich. I pray for this person. Nobody, in fact, it's like your case was mentioned before. You have been isolated because of poverty. Today, I revise your situation. And I decree power. Power that changes situation. Overall power now to visit you. Please close your mouth everywhere. Don't match. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Let the power I talk about go. Go again. Touch. The person I mentioned this guy, go and lose that person. Something great, something mysterious, something mysterious. Let the power move with hands and feet. Now begin to remove whatever I put in the body, in the first or right individual. Show me a sign. Don't pray, don't pray, don't pray. Don't pray, don't pray. Don't pray. Don't pray. Don't pray, don't pray, don't pray, don't pray. Lord, give me a sign. There shall be noise. Lord, let the power move. Crush every barrier, every opposition. Sign. Yes, something great. Lord, go around. Let these ones receive intervention. Receive intervention. Receive divine intervention. Receive intervention. Receive intervention. Son. Watch us, watch out. Any kingdom, any power, any force that is hindering you from making it in life, let them receive destruction. Victory, victory, victory. Choose it. Fight for me, fight for me, 
fight for God the chosen. God the chosen. God the chosen. I find no beggar. The mighty battle. Miracle worker. Ancient of the days. Lion of you The mighty battle. God of chosen. The 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 God of chosen. Miracle worker. Ancient of the days. Lion of Judah. The man of Judah. Miracle worker. I am that I am. The God of chosen. Miracle walk out. The Lord of Jesus. The Lord of Jesus. Lord of heaven. I found Omega. Request up to learn God will visit you and I will hear your testimonies. My daddy, by authority, I cancel that right for fever, malaria, parasite in Jesus' name. That weakness, that losing appetite, receive strength in Jesus' name. The quick notice, I cancel it in Jesus' name. The person sitting on your money, I command that that person will not sleep until they begin to pay your money in Jesus' name. That abandoned project be finished in Jesus' name. And I command whatsoever they are buried in that yard that has kept everybody poor. I destroy that evil. And I pray from you, let that intervention. Daddy, fight for my people. I pray for miracle employment for this person in Jesus' name. And for you, I pray that that visa you are looking for, let it be granted. Any embassy, anywhere you go, let that visa be issued in Jesus' name. And I cancel whatever the potential that planning for somebody, I cancel that evil. And whatsoever be the case that person having there, I cancel that case in Jesus' name. And I pray that missing person come back home. That let that person in the hospital, let that person be healed in Jesus' name. And that person with kidney failure receive brand new kidney. The one having liver problem receive new liver new heart be healed in Jesus name yeah. let the low BP be healed low sugar be healed high sugar be healed receive intervention in Jesus name my daddy I pray for this person from today begin to receive favor 
collections, blessings, financial miracle and that in Jesus' name. Everything hindering you, everything hindering that blessing, I destroy that evil. I command to be released to you in Jesus' name. That you financially bless them, materially bless them, Lord spiritually bless them, academically bless them. Father, bless my people as a matter of intervention in Jesus' name. Those who cannot walk, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Okay, rise up and start, drop your crutches, drop your walking stick. Rise up and walk. Rise up, all of you that carry it here, lying down, rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Now, those that are deaf or dumb, I cancel deaf and dumb, be it to hear, be it to speak in Jesus' name. Those that have cataract, glaucoma, total blindness, I cancel, let your eyes be open in Jesus' name. Those that have madness, I cancel madness, I cancel loss of memory, regain your memory, your sanity in Jesus' name. Wherever they change this person, I break that chain, I lose you in Jesus' name. My daddy, all these ones that the enemy has destroyed their organ and they cannot use their body to walk again, I replace those organs. I command them to be to walk in Jesus' name. My daddy, bless my people. All this one that are traveling, I pray for Johnny Messis in Jesus' name. My daddy, fight their battle. Fight our battle. Lord, give them promotion in Jesus' name. Wherever you are not walking, I say you are here. I can see somebody with crutches now walking. I can see those people that they are now walking. Receive your deliverance, receive your freedom, receive your miracle. Intervene in Jesus' name. Somebody shout, Amen. Every prison door be open. Anywhere they are sitting on you that you cannot prosper, you cannot make headway, I lose you in Jesus' name. From today, promotion, coronation, favors, healing, deliverance, that the visit that let there be intervention in Jesus' name. Financial miracle alert. Financial miracle alert. Financial miracle alert. Receive it in Jesus' name. All of you in this church that are struggling financially, I break the yoke, I cross you over. From today, no more struggle financially in Jesus' name. Connect them, bless them, favor them. Lord, I command financial blessing from above in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? Everything written in that paper, I pray miraculously. Let answer be given them in Jesus' name. That police scared, court cares, receive victory. Receive victory. Lord, intervene in Jesus' name. All those pains, your body, that is stopping, I command it to vanish away. Be free, shortness of breath, be he asthmatic or be cancelled in Jesus' name. That constant urinating, I cancel it in Jesus' name. Can I hear you, child? Be amen. Now, if you are not walking, rise up and begin to walk. 
If you are deaf or dumb, begin to hear, begin to speak. If you are paralyzed, begin to use your body now. If there is any damaged organ, receive brand new one. Receive brand new one. Wherever you are, receive freedom in Jesus' name. A big amen. Now, come in the front and test your working system. You are healed. Come and test your eyes. We don't have time for testimony today, but just take that person out already. Just take that person. Pastor, there is a miracle here. As soon as you ministered and mentioned financial miracle alert, the sister received 80,000 naira alert. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. A big clap offering to Jesus. Clap for Jesus. My master Jesus. Oh, yeah. My master oh, Jesus. Jesus. My master oh, Jesus. Jesus. My master Jesus. Hold My on. master hold Jesus. Hold on, hold on. Hey, like that sister want to say something. Tell us what you want to say. My name is Singozi DK. What did God do for you? God, the military, our daddy say, before somebody will leave here, we receive miracle a lot. He have never finished his finish, and I received 80,000. That is what I'm saying. That is it. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. <laughs> Only God can do this. God don't choose it. Only, Only you, you can, can do this. this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God of choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God of choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God of choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. It is. It is done. Amen. You can check your phone. You can check your body. That problem is no more. Amen. Answer is given to you. Financial miracle are light upon you. All of you today, we are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me take that testimony quickly. Pastor, our brother had accident three years ago. And as a result, he began to work with these clutches for the past three years. But well, Pastor, after your prayer now, he's no longer working with it. He's Can you walk? Clap he's for Jesus. I see him leaping, leaping. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the oh Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Let's take that testimony quickly. Pastor, instantly now, as you mentioned Miracle Alert, our brother received 305,000. for Jesus. Love for Jesus. Love for Jesus. We are saying Thank you, Lord. We are saying Thank you, Lord. We are saying Thank you, the God of choosing. You are good. I want to tell you the door of financial miracle is open for everyone. Amen. And as I'm speaking now, miracle alert, miracle connection, miracle favor. Now, before I round up, draw, keep your papa, stretch your hand towards your pastor, and say, God Almighty, maintain him from above. Revive, renew, refit. Prepare him for the crusade ahead. Walk on him. Take away stress, take away weakness, take away every overhaul him, overhaul, overhaul, overhaul. From head to the toe of the foot, take away every weakness, every pain, overhaul, remove every pain, every infirmities, every sickness, take it away 
give it soundness. I pray for soundness of all my system. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pray that God Almighty will strengthen spiritually and physically. Fill him with strength, power. Pray. Pray. Let's in the near can pray. Robo let's continue. Ranga rabazanda yarabazuvia. Los angelico press fan up. Intervate. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray for much less grace, much less faith, much less power, much less anointing of oil or gladness above my fellow upon my life. Pray that God will release on shop. Pray to God, overflow, overflow of grace, of anointing, of power, of sadness. Pray in Jesus' name. We pray. Pray that God will preserve His going, preserve His coming back. That God will grant us such journey mercy. God will bless us mightily. In Jesus. My dear name we pray, Lord, preserve our going, preserve our coming, grant our journey, mercies, surround us, wall of fire, I pray to them, in Jesus' name we pray. Begin to thank you for the answers of these prayers. We give you all glory, honor, worship, thanks, and adoration. My name be exalted, be magnified forever, in Jesus' powerful name we pray. I know that many people have testimonies, but there is no time to share it. Come back on Sunday or next Thursday or Tuesday, we'll hear your testimonies. You are covered with the blood of Jesus. As you go away, I pray, let blessings overtake you. Let miracle overtake you. Let favor overtake you. Let blessings overtake you. Lord bless them mightly in Jesus' name. And it is amen in heaven. I said the God of choosing answer. Pray out. I said the God of choosing answer. Pray out. Oh. 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 Don't God don't choose in us and prayers, don't mama, don't faint. God don't choose in us and prayers. Wow! We are waiting for you to hear your testimonies. This will remind all that our regional Projecto Crusade continues tomorrow. So all the regions and all the members of the regions, make sure you have your regional projector crusade tomorrow. If you don't know your venue, then ask your branch coordinator or your zonal or house care leader to tell you the venue for your projector crusade tomorrow. Remember the workers meeting continues and we'll see it according to our branches. Let all the workers, both all the members, should be in the workers' meeting and Bible study on Saturday by 9 a.m. Newcomers, remember the special fellowship on Wednesday by 5 p.m. at the first auditorium. Come with three special prayer requests. More Grace Bible Institute is still admitting students into the academic section. So all members of the church are eligible 
to get enrolled into the Mark Grace Bible School. Visit the school office near the conference hall for more inquiry. Okota Brethren, you are having your projector crusade tomorrow at Community Road. First Stack Region, you are having your projector crusade tomorrow at Lakeview Estate Phase 2. All Lagoda leaders are meeting today at number 27 Ironi Avenue by 6 p.m. All Yoruba speaking brethren will have their vigil tonight at First Stack End. Choosing International Secondary School First Stack Town will resume for their third term academic section on the 22nd of April. Parents, guidance, advice to pay the school fees of their children or what directly to this bank, then bring teller or deposit slip as evidence of payment to the school for proper documentation. Admission is still on into choosing International Secondary School first act 